That's it right there. In the middle? Yeah, that, that's what the guess. No, no, no. no. This? In the vent? No, yeah, you, you don't put them on here. You don't send it to you. Oh my god. What? Wow. I'm just Rude. <laughs> the podcast is over, boys. I'm supposed to sit in the middle. You're not supposed to sit in the middle. Yeah. Alright. There's a lot of guy over here. So, um. Here. Number five. Numere Cinco. Cinco, yeah. So there's number five. I'm on that camera and you guys on that one. That's correct. Okay. That's, anyway, so there, good shit, Ernesto. So we don't have, like, money and awesome mics and stuff, so we have to do the ghetto rig like this. So we hold it just like this, and we pass it around. So if you listened or seen it, this is what happens. So how we start off is I ask you what your, hand, <laughs> what your handle is, how you got it, and how you get into the scene. You got it? Yeah. So today our Any special party? guest is OFC Deluxe, Mem one of the members of 3E. We're all here today. That's all I gotta say. So how do you get your name, man? Um. Oh. <laughs> well. It's not like that, huh? All right. Well. Uh. I got my name. Uh, I can't tell you how I got my name. It's criminal. You know what I mean? Hey. Like I, I go to jail if I told you how I got my name. And I'm serious. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, let's just say I used to take part in Excellent. illegal activities and... Being of all cards? No. 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 But, yeah. I got it off the side of a McDonald's cup. And I was just like, I think it looked cooler with that E at the end of it. That's how I got my name. Okay, guys? <laughs> Um, Are you sure it wasn't dyslexia? <laughs> no, it's not dyslexic. It's sexlexia. Yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, I got into the scene here. Shit, we went to a Pro Bowls tournament. Vincent won a TE from Markman. That's what happened. Dude, and he had these Tron shoes on that were so badass. I was I, like, dude, look at this guy's shoes. Like, I mean, we always played I have Street Fighter when I was a kid. It's my favorite game. I played it Championship Edition on Sega, like, all day. That and Jurassic Park. And and Bonanza Brothers. Sega Genesis was my shit. Like I fucking hate Super Nintendo. I don't care what anyone says. Sega Genesis was way better because I couldn't I afford a Super fun, Nintendo. Yeah. I could afford a Sega Genesis because my brother could afford a Sega Genesis. You see, he had a job, and he bought us games and shit. He was cool. He was a good brother. Shout out to my brother Ryan. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he went to. Uh, he was here a couple times. Yeah, he yeah yeah. <laughs> he's come to Cody's house <laughs> without anyone ever being here. He just showed up. <laughs> And picked up like a what did he be came like to your PlayStation and yeah <laughs> and yeah dragon dildo yeah I mean yeah um yeah so me and Vincent I mean we were really excited when Street Fighter Four got announced and I was like oh man there's gonna be an MMA fighter in it Abel he's gonna be like the main character I'm totally gonna play him and I played him in vanilla on pad on Xbox Live and I was like I wanted to play Guile because he was like always my main you know I played him in MVC2 and shit. Like I, <laughs> I used to play him in every game. It was bad. But, yeah. Um, I really wanted to play him, but I didn't like... I didn't like uh, the flat... The, the ultra. I didn't like his ultra. And I felt like... Yeah, I felt like... I didn't really like him in the game. I thought that uh, Abel was a lot cooler, and I felt like I was better with him. So I played Abel, and I was complete shit. And Vincent used to play Geef, and we were fucking that frauds. Yeah. We were big time frauds, dude. Like that was like probably <laughs> real talk. Like it was probably the worst fighting game that we were ever at. Like we were pretty good at Bloody Roar. We were pretty good at Tekken Four. Like not not that good at Tekken Four, but we were. I was pretty good at Tekken Four. I'll say that shit. Like I was pretty good. Um, for yeah, like I never really like you know went on the internet, found SRK, any of that shit. But I mean, the internet's, the internet's yeah. I don't know what happened. Like we used to play fighting games a lot, and then WoW came out, and WoW like literally WoW. fucking ruined both of me and Vincent's lives. Yeah, like it, it was bad. It was a great game. It was a great game. I only played until about 07, and I played up until I played vanilla in WoW, and then I quit. But then my friend got me playing his like. He's like, come on, man. It's easy to do, like, Battlegrounds and stuff. You just got to sit there and do it. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll fuck around on your character. I was playing his character. Cody's looking up pictures of Asian girls. I'm going to go to G's friends or something. I'm freaking out. All right, yeah, get G's. back on topic. Is it? Yeah, she did it? No, it's not. You guys are fucking stupid. They don't look that look much shoes, alike. Though. Hey, let's get back on topic. It's yeah, about me. It's about me. Dude. Okay, hey, so, <laughs> so 
I'm yeah, like, um, but when Super came out, I really liked Guile because he was fucking broken. Like, he was broken in that game. And I was like, I'm going to play Guile. I'm going to be the best Guile ever. And I'm not. But <laughs> 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 but Dominion is. And he signed my arcade stick. So maybe I'm the second best Guile. No, Knuckle Dude's better than me, too. <laughs> Actually, there's people in SD that are better than me. <laughs> Tong's a better Guile than I am. <laughs> I'll fucking say it out loud. Whoa, titties. Get this shit out of here. I want to see my face. Thank you. Um, Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm actually probably one of the worst guys in SD, but I'm the, I'm the coolest, so there you go. Right? That's what counts, man. That's what counts. Right? Yeah, especially. You can be the best guy, but you can also be an asshole. We don't want to like, talk to an asshole. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty nice guy. I'm friends. I like Jet Quick, so I got to be nice, right? Everyone's friends. I know, he's like but a, still. He's like the giving tree, dude. Yeah. He is. But I'm friends with everybody. I'm friends with, like, everyone. He's, he's SD's group. Except for JD. I feel like he doesn't like me for some reason. From Temecula. If you're listening, JD, why do you hate me, dude? Like, I feel like, okay, you know the first time you came to OFC and you were, like, an asshole to everybody? Like, you were just a total fucking asshole to everyone? You never stopped acting like that towards me, like, 80% of the time. Like, sometimes you're like, what's up, Rico? Like, we're best friends. And I'm like, oh, it's cool, JD. You finally, like, changed. And then, like, 20 minutes later, you're like, fucking bitch. I'm like, hey, what's, what's what happened, man? I thought we were cool. Like, but no, like, yeah. Just keep telling us your life right now, dude. Yeah, dude, like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. In Super, I was probably the worst I ever was. But I was also the best because I, I was super guy. You know what I mean? Like, I, could, I couldn't lose anyone. Like, me and Chad, you know. We had that team tournament a couple weeks ago, or it was like, like in, two it, months ago, dude. okay, well, <laughs> it was like two months ago, but I don't go to that many tournaments anymore, so it was a tournament a while back, the other day, <laughs> which could be either two weeks or two months or whatever, but, you know, me and him were team team super fucking super badasses, and we fucking raped everybody, and if Richard would have been here, we would have beat him, too. Super best friend. Was it Chad that really beat me and Chris in the tournament? Yes. <laughs> that was yes. Absolutely. <laughs> that was a fun tournament. Yeah. I, uh, um, we're going to do it again soon. Legate is like legitimately yeah, like, rape, he's my fucking demon, dude. Like, and there's a couple of them. Like, okay, real talk. Them. Legate, Tong. I've only beaten Tong once in tournament. I like him as a person, but in tournament-wise, in tournament wise, like, I fucking hate, I hate playing him because he usually picks Rose and he usually fucking. He tomato cans me, you know what I mean? Like, he just fucking stomps on it and just splats all over the place. I'm like, fuck. That, um, Ilya. Ilya, because for some god-awful reason, he always makes it close. And I don't know why he does this shit. It's like, maybe he's not making it close, maybe I'm making it close. But I've come closer to beating Ilya than I've come closer to beating Legate or fucking... Chad's kind of a fucking... I've only beaten Chad in team tournaments. Like, where it's one game. If it's two games, he'll fucking start butt slamming me and he realizes that I'm retarded and I'll just lose. <laughs> like, it's fucking stupid. I think he's gone, right? He went to LDs? No, he's, no, he's right there. He's right there, <laughs> Well, fuck Chad. He's right there, but fuck him. But, yeah, like, I don't know, dude. Like, I, I was a lot more into it. And then, like, work came along and it just, like, it, like, you know, it fucking, it's a big part of my life. Like, I fucking can't get away from it. Like, I, I got a lot of responsibility with my job. Like, I can't just fucking be gone. You know what I mean? Like, I need to have a presence there at the ranch and shit. Like, I can't. The goats. Yeah, the goats. Yeah, if I'm gone for a day, like, so much shit goes wrong, dude. Like, I hate to say it, but, like, it sucks. But other than that, back to, uh, <laughs> yeah, back to, back to me, because that's what this is all about. It is all about. It's like, Hi. Yeah. Where's it's the pretty camera much at? like you take control of the show. Yeah. You just, you take it away, man. You I'm, just just ideas. Ideas. Just do it, man. So, yeah. Okay. Um, let's go back to it. My my greatest moment in my greatest moment in my career is when I beat XSK Samurai, and I, I knew I was going to beat him before I even played him. Like this guy, I money match air every turn I've ever been to. I probably lost two forty to this fucking faggot over like a ten year. You know what I mean? Like I've lost so much money. I've lost so much money to this piece of shit. And I always get hit by the same stupid fucking thing, and it pisses me off. And he says it. He's like, every tournament, he's like, hey, well, money match later. I'm like, all right. And then he's like, he hits me with the same stupid thing. He's like, you always get hit by that. And I'm like, I'm going to fucking sock you, air. And the worst thing that ever happened is I was going to beat him. 
I was going to beat him. Like, he was fucking dead. Last game, last round, I had 40% life. He had a pixel. And he jumps in at me, and I'm just like, you stupid fucking bitch. And I down fierce, and he empty jump, low fort, EX fireball, in the corner, into ultra, and I died. And I was just like, and, like, he's like, whoa, that was close. And I'm like, I'm going to fucking kill you, Air. I'm going to kill you. And it was right in front of, like, his, like, fucking idol, like, Tamashiro, like, loves Air. Like, it's bad, dude. Like, and I, I told him, I was like, Air's not that good. I'll money match him later. I'll beat him. And, like, Tammy was watching it, and he's like, what the fuck? And then, yeah, it was sad. I should have won that. I should have won that because I, like, wanted him to be my boyfriend. And, then, like, he stopped talking to me after that. He's like, you're not good anymore. I'm just kidding. This is fucking stupid. But <laughs> That's what happened. That is what happened. Yeah. No. But anytime you want to come over to Tamashiro, you're welcome at my house, dude. <laughs> I know you work at Valley View. I know you work at Valley View. If you want to fucking, if you want to come hang out, you know, we can go play some pool. I'll buy you dinner. We can, like, watch movies. I got, like, all the seasons of Workaholics at my house. We can hang out, you know what I mean? Just saying. You're looking at me so you hang out too? Yeah, Cody, too. Anyone. Anyone. I live in a trailer park. Hey, do you need one of those burgers? Huh? Do you need one of those burgers? Special ones with the bread in them? Have you had that one time? Which one? Yeah, the ones I'm talking about. Spicy burgers. Yeah. Special drug burgers. I don't know about the drug burgers. I think you do. I'll come <laughs> over later. Okay, I remember. Oh, oh, oh. When we had the barbecue at my house? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got a whole bunch of that meat. All right, I'll be there. Okay. <laughs> Raccoon meat, got it. No, it's... Uh, human meat. Yeah, human meat, yeah. Man sausage. <laughs> but, um, hmm, what else? You guys ask me a question and I'll answer it. No, no. So I beat XSK Samurai. And I mean, like, this was the fucking hype as shit. Like, on the way up there, like, it was a disaster, dude. Like, all of our cars broke down. Like, I was like, all right, Asuka, I need to buy new tires for the Miata if we're going to go up there. Because I only had, like, I had fucking, like, bald. I had, like, bald summer tires. And it was a fucking El Nino rainstorm on the way up to SCR. You guys know what I'm talking about. Fucking Robert Feist got in a car crash and shit. Like, everyone was fucking sliding over the freeway. It was a fucking disaster, dude. So I bought brand new tires, and on the way up there, I'm talking to Asuka. I'm like, man, I just want to play one fucking guy in my pool, XSK Samurai. I know I'm going to beat him. Like, if I can just beat one guy, I can play him, and I can beat him, and everyone will be like, you're our hero, Rico, and they'll pick me up on their shoulders, (laughs) fucking throw me around. And then the stream would be like, oh, my God, this fucking the best guy on the world just beat the best fucking Ryu in, like, Southern California. <laughs> in, yeah, Northern California. <laughs> he is pretty good, though. But I fucking bodied that guy. You can't see it because no one recorded it. But well, check the brackets. it was bad. Yeah, look at the brackets, dude. He only lost to me and Infiltration. <laughs> He only lost to yeah. me in infiltration. Technically, you got top eight. So I'll get you Technically, back. I got top six. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sean lost to fucking June the Baboon twice. <laughs> so I don't. <laughs> and he didn't even know what he he didn't even know who he was because he was wearing like a fisherman cap. <laughs> the, the LL Cool J. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was wearing the fucking LL Cool J hat, dude. <laughs> Boy He's like, man, this this kin's pretty good. I'm like, that's fucking June the Baboon, you idiot. But yeah, yeah. Whatever. What else happened? I don't know. I like uh, my favorite fighting game. You want to ask me what my favorite fighting game is? I'll ask you. I'll ask me what my favorite fighting. My favorite <laughs> fighting game. My favorite game period is Alpha Two. Like, I feel like it's probably the best game ever made way better than street fighter 4 way better than fucking turd strike and fucking alpha 3 alpha 3 is i know people like it because it was like the, probably the deepest most technical fucking street fighter game they ever what, made no alpha 3 oh. if, you, if you hear people talk about it like the people who like it a lot man they'll fucking suck that game's dick but i but you start off with full bars and you can whiff air throws in the air and it looks like you're standing like it's the stupidest fucking game <laughs> ever <laughs> i don't know I don't like it. Like, the yeah, fact yeah. that you build meter the fastest. <laughs> yeah, June the Batman, dude. <laughs> yeah, we <gotta> <laughs> that. yeah, we'll put it up. We'll put it up for the stream for you guys. This is exactly what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> October 15th, by the way. Mm-hmm. That's his birthday. Um, Yeah, like, um. Who's your favorite character in 
You use Nat or Charlie, right? I use Charlie, but honestly, I'm better with Ryu than I am with Charlie. Or, no, that's not true. I like to play Ryu more. I, I feel like he's the funnest character that I know how to play in the game. I feel like if I knew how to play Guy, it'd be the funnest. That's like, if true. I had the run stop tech where I just run stop, run stop, fucking throw, run stop, fucking custom combo low. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that shit's just fucking crazy shit. Talk about Guy? Yeah. Well, like, it, it, I feel like he's probably the coolest character to play, but so I don't you, know how to you, play. You, you would pick him because he's the coolest character? No, he's fucking legit. Like, if you see, like, good if, players play him. If you him, had to pick a character in that game that you, like, like, and, like, oh, this is a cool character I want to use, like, who would it be? Oh, Rue. Okay, all right. But he's top four. Like, I feel like he's, like, the fourth best character oh, in the yeah, game. Yeah, like, like, don't care, like, what... Charlie, Charlie's like, I like him, but he's lame, dude. Like, he's such a lame character to play. I can win with him. I don't know. I think I'm going to have another big A2 tournament in San Diego, and I'm going to get, like, a fucking trophy, like, made up and shit. It's going to be, like, a big deal. Like, pop bonuses, fucking, like, VIP memberships to Cheetahs, like, as fucking prizes and shit. You know what I mean? Like, like badass shit. Like, I'm talking about badass shit. Yeah, Kearns for second place and stuff. That's a good story. LOC? No. Well, no. Well, at the A2 tournament. All right. But, yeah, you guys have any questions you want to ask me? Anything? Me? Hmm. You're not an Evil Street Fighter. That's yeah. the part about it, dude. Hmm. That was June, by the way. Yeah, that's June the Baboon. Sean lost there. me twice. Yeah, he lost the other tournament. Dude, he was going crazy, man. I just flexed on our shit. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> Who is one person you'd want to fight in real life? It doesn't have to be in a scene. Just anybody and why. Yeah, there's too many I know, but if you can't pick one. Like if I could just fight someone? Yeah. Anybody. Anyone? Anything. Anything? 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 Yeah, man. The world is your oyster, brother. Oh my days. This is a question yeah. for the ages. <laughs> Would it be air? I feel like it would be way cool to like, fight on the... I'd probably fight... Maybe air. No. I don't know. I'd say Gandhi or someone like that. Like some kind of like, you know what I mean? Like one of those like. <laughs> like Mother Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah. Mother Jerusalem. I'd fucking fight like Mother <laughs> Jerusalem. I'd fucking, I don't know. I'm just. Mother Teresa. Yeah. Someone. Anyone. Anyone who's like a peace, like a loving person. Like I would just fight them just for shit to get. I'd lose on purpose too. Like I would throw it. It'd be sick. It'd be very humbling. You know what I mean? Like. Go ahead. If you had to fight someone in the FGC, though, who would it be? If I, not Aaron. It can't be Aaron. It can't be Aaron. Aaron. Can't be Aaron. So I feel like that's such an easy answer. Like Luffy. <laughs> Why Luffy? Why Luffy? Um, he looks like a naked mole rat. I just felt like the way he won Evo was fucking bullshit, to be honest with you. Like, dash up. Just, just from mid-screen 50-50s off of a dash, which lead to either a throw, which leads to, like, a fucking mix-up, or retarded fucking damage off of the stupid little hop kick that makes you airborne. It was either you're going to get tossed. Like Giles kind of kick thing? Yeah, or but or it's like actually Giles fucking good. Like, it's it's not it's not, not scary. Gu I'm sorry, but if anyone doesn't realize this, you're a moron. Giles' upside-down kick is the least scariest fucking thing on the planet. Like, out of all the moves in fucking... There are characters' jabs that are scarier to see come out than Guile's upside down kick. That thing is fucking retarded. Just block it and then don't push a button afterwards and wait for him to push a button. Or what is he going to do? Walk up and throw you afterwards? I don't fucking think so. Okay, Guile throws you. What's going to happen next? Nothing? <laughs> like, are you guys fucking stupid? Stop getting hit by that shit. It pisses me off. Okay. But yeah. All right. So, okay. If you had to change one thing about Guile, what would it be? And I'll tell you what I think they should change. But what do you pick? Ask me one thing, though. I know there's probably a lot. Only one, Only one thing. thing. To make him right. good or to make him, like, that not... You want, that you want. Like, what would you want to see? I would legitimately... We'll ask... I know, okay, and then we'll ask Vance, like, Balrog, and then you can do real good. I want his Ultra 2 to be 10 frames again. I don't know what that means. Like, just fast? Is that right it was there? faster. Okay. Like, I don't really care about the damage. Like, I get that it was kind of a fuck ton of damage for, like... I mean, you could go through anything with that. Any fireball, you could fuck it. And it was easy to react to because it was fast. It did do too much damage. He was a little too good in super, but making it as slow as it is now, I know they, they might have made it a little faster. No, I don't think so. I think they stuck the same. They just buffed the damage. I would rather just have it to be as fast as it was in super. Other than that, he's got one glitch. 
It's not really a glitch. No, it's a fucking glitch. Like, his super is like one plus two. It's like a three frame super, but you can like five frame safe jump it, and like it's buggy. Like it, it, yeah, it's it's a janky ass fucking bug that's in the game, and I don't know why it's there. I don't know what the fuck the problem is, but it only, yeah, it's not three frames. Like it's three frames when it wants to be, but whenever it's inconvenient towards you, it'll be like a fucking six frame super. Even though you do the three the three frame short super on startup. And people have complained about it forever, but they, like, won't fix it because they're retarded. But, yeah, Capcom. Honestly, I don't know why they went about changing him the way that they did. Because, like, they made him really good. And then during all the the testing, during all the testing and stuff, like, people were just fucking murking people with him. But they made him too good to begin with. And then so they make him – they buff him in some, like, pre – release version like you know what do they call it a build they buffed him up in the beta testing and shit and then they made him too good so they nerfed him worse than he was before and it's like i understand that you can't make a charge character who's that basic be too good because then like i feel like he has to stay at the level he's at but at the same time it's like you didn't have to take his life away you know what i mean like that was just a dumbass thing on cat so let's make him really good Oh, he's too good. Let's take everything that we gave him away, and then let's also nerf his health. And then you're just like, just because they made it. The whole thing is they. It's not like his flash kick really auto corrects. Any it does auto correct better than it did before. I'm not saying that it doesn't, but you can still cross it up and make it not work. You know what I mean? Like so the the shitty setups before that would work for no fucking reason. They they don't work anymore. But they shouldn't have worked in the first place. It's just there was a stupid bug in it, and they got away with it for free forever. But that shit's gone. But they shouldn't have been doing shit like that in the first place. Anyone else with any other reversal would have blown it up every time. It was only against God that you could do stupid fucking, like, early cross-ups and make the flash kick go the opposite direction because it was just dumb. You know? The game was just – his hitbox was stupid, and it made him do dumb shit. And I think he had a bug on his wake-up that made him – it was something like that. There's all kinds of fucking bugs in this game. seems like – um, I remember like a, a lot of talk back in like vanilla and everything. Like I guess on the left side, like for some reason Rufus always like fucks him over. Like, oh, like, on the left corner? Yeah. In the left corner, you cannot block any of that shit. It's like impossible. Is it just Rufus or is it other characters too? Like Akuma oh no, it's like, it's all characters. Oh, but, but Rufus so it's in general. Though, or is it like a, no, no, it's the left corner. Oh, in general. Left corner, actually. It's the left corner, For but everyone, right? but oh, okay. Guile's hitbox was notoriously janky, so it like it emphasized it. It made everything even more fucking stupid than it already was. The left corner is retarded. That's why if I have a choice, if they're like, oh, you want to be first or second player, I want to be second player because I'm as far away from the left corner as I possibly can be. If I get put in the right corner, I don't care. I can block on the right corner. You put me in the left corner, it's just, it's random. Am I, is it going to be a cross up? Are you going to lay on the same side? Are you going to lay on the opposite side? Is it going to be same side and you cross me up? Is it going to be, you know what I mean? Like it's legitimately a coin flip. No, it's a dice roll. Where every option's like a different, you know what I mean? Like it's just ridiculous. It's fucking stupid. All right, Vincent, what do you got? A question? Well, wait, oh no, what do you, I'll tell you one thing though. Okay. That was more than one thing. But if I if I had to change anything with Guile, I think you should be able to, like, flash kick, FSD, air throw. Okay. I'm and gonna... also, cause you know all those trades you go to flash kick, you can also just air throw them out of that. Just I don't know. And it wouldn't scale. That's just me. I'm gonna tell you why that's a fucking retarded idea. I'm sorry, but it is. It is a stupid idea. One, because the only really dangerous thing that Guile has off of, like, any kind of knockdown is the air throw. So, like, it, off a regular throw, he has nothing. He has absolutely no setups other than a meaty. Or, what? I, okay. I'm still fucking playing super, so delayed wake up is not a thing to me. I don't, I don't use it. I don't expect people to use it. I just think that the game's broken and they get up late for some weird reason. But yeah, like he's not really, he's not really dangerous except off of an air throw. Off of an air throw, he actually has like safe jumps and like crazy shit. So like, if you could flash kick and then, you know, it, it'd be a free. It'd be, it'd be too easy. Like, see, that's something that they could not give him. He would be fucking broken. Because how many times do you just wake up with the flash kick FADC and it just fucking work? You know, people get hit by flash kick FADCs. Like, you know when people are going to try and fucking hit you. Or you know 
whenever someone's getting like open like you know open up a block string to try to throw you like when you play a charge character long enough you only get one chance you fucking get really good at guessing whenever someone's gonna try and do something and i don't give a fuck what anyone says like over half the time i flash kick fadc if i know that i'm just doing it for them to block it and i backdash i do that but when i think it's gonna hit them over half the time they get hit by it. you know what i mean like i'm like this is going to fucking work and if i could just forward dash and air throw you like it'd be fucking retarded in my opinion like it's just free damage for no reason and that would make him too good and it would kind of change the way he plays because like that's something you can give some new character i feel like it's a good thing to keep guy as like basic as he has been because like to add too much new shit to him, like to give him some new move, it's just like insanely crazy and like all this shit. Like I don't think so. I don't think he needs like an, another overhead. Like he doesn't upside down kick does not need to be an overhead. It just doesn't need to be. Like I know they did that in HDR, but like that's that's no, don't do that. That's not a good idea. Like I feel like he's fine. I feel like actually making the links easier. That was kind of a stupid idea. Like. They didn't need to do that. I would rather have one frame links and have 50 more health. Like, they screwed him over so bad. They, like, did the dumbest shit to him. I feel bad for him, but oh well. He's still a pretty good character. Uh, he's all right, but <laughs> at least you got to, like, wake up. In general, that makes him. And then Red Focus. I know people haven't really seen, like, comeback shit with Guile with Red Focus, but there's stuff out there. There's tech. There's a lot of Guile tech that, like, it's interesting people don't know about, but like it's not useful. So like there's a reason why no one knows about it. Like he's got a car flash kick that goes really far, but like it makes it like it makes it like ten frames. It's not that good. <laughs> and like yeah, I mean he's got like weird buggy shit where like you can cancel a throw with a throw. I mean it's stupid, but like you see it happen, you're like, why does that work? Yeah, you, know, you can cancel a whiff throw animation with another throw if you time it perfectly. Like you go uh, 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 and you start warping across the screen like uh, like it's. It's the stupidest shit, but it it does work. It does happen. I don't know why it happens, but it does. And then there's other shit where, like, if you get, like, a sweep FADC forward, like, over a lot of characters, you can torpedo knee over them and, like, over their body right when they're waking up and do, like, an upside-down kick or, like, something tricky. But, like, no one's going to get hit by it. You weren't going to lose to them in the first place. You shouldn't have wasted the two bar to fucking FADC. You know what I mean? Like... He's got, like, gimmicky stuff, but, like, it, none of it's worth a damn. So, like, you might as well just play him straight up, you know? You might as well play him solid. But, yeah, I mean, what do you guys think about what you were going to talk about so far? Am I suggesting a Guile change or am I suggesting a Balrog change? Damage. Bring back the vanilla damage. That's it. He's already a good character. He already has all the shit he needs. He just needs to do more damage like he used to. Because, like, you'll just... Like, 90 damage crouching fierce isn't that bad. When it was 110, like, you didn't want to fucking jump ever. And same with the well, air, to, air, to, yeah. air to air jump fierce used to do 110 also. So, like, now that shit adds up after a while, man. Back fist. Guile's back fist is Yeah, he used to do 110. I think that shit could do 110 again and also. And then they took it to 90. I think yeah. they bumped it back to 100. I think it's 100 also, but that's still not – that ain't 120. So, yeah. Yeah, I would just bring back Balrog's damage and have Bud do, one, like, 160 again and shit. That's it. I feel like he's already good enough. Yeah, so honestly, the one thing I would change about my or Rufus, I'd bring back his forward damage throw. Yeah. Only because like I don't know, I think Rufus is a good character. I I I also think like they really never change him because he's like the character that people need to like pick up and easily win. Like if you're an idiot, like pick Rufus because like if or like if you don't want to put time in the game, like Rufus is that one character that they made just to like oh you don't want to play the game that well, well just use this character and you'll like win tournaments. I don't feel that. I, don't I, I, I just feel that. That's why I'm glad they never changed him. Because, like, I know, there's, like, a lot of characters that people, like, change. Or, like, a lot of the, the, the companies change. And then, like, people are like, oh, I don't, I don't want to use him no more. Because, like, he's, like, unplayable. Like, if they ever did that to Rufus, I'd probably quit. Because I don't want to, like, pick up another character. But just put, I really wish they would just bring back his forward damage. Because there's, like, tournaments now where it's like, wow. If I had, like, that one, damage, 15 more damage, I would have won, dude. <laughs> and they come back so, like, it happened to me against Mio the other day. Like, um, like the last two tournaments, like I, I like raped Mia, and then and then Monday he beat me, and then like one game was just like I like four, I threw him, and he didn't die, and he just came back. And I was like, I like, I wasn't mad. I was just like, wow, if I had that throw damage, you'd have died. But no, it was, it was a good game though. But that's about it, and then that's about it, man. I think I would sacrifice some. Um, I would have sacrificed the Messiah hits for that for fourth throw, dude. 
That's really, I, I'm, that's probably like a stupid thing to say, but yeah. yeah that seems a little crazy. Anyway. Cause that's guaranteed yeah. damage. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would change. Good old Rufus. I like Rufus. I like Rufus is actually the character in Ultra. Like him and Abel, I feel like we're cool characters. Viper, Fuerte, and what was the other guy? Oh no, that was him, right? Yeah. Those characters are dumb as fuck. I hate those characters. Especially Viper. Fuerte bodies Guile for free. Like, I'm serious. Top top three or four worst matchups for Guile. Like, it's just terrible. Like, he fucking bodies Guile so hard. That's originally why I picked Geek. It's so I could play someone against Kyle Frey. Shouts to Kyle Frey. He was a pretty good Smash player who played Fuerte. And he was... He bodied me. And he barely knew how to play it, but he just... He knew how to do the Fuerte bullshit, and, like, he would just fuck me up. So I was like, I got to pick someone to, like, deal with this, and I pick Zanky. And that's why I, I feel like I really want to start playing him more because of Snake Eyes. I really like Snake Eyes. I feel like he's, like, the best character. I feel, Not the best character. I feel like he's the best player, period. I feel like he's better than any of the Japanese guys or anyone. I feel like, I feel like he's the best player in the world, to be honest, just because he's consistent. He's really, really consistent. He makes top eight, top sixteen at anything he's ever been to. Like I've never seen him not in the big pots. Like later on, you know what I mean? Like he doesn't make top sixteen. He doesn't not make top sixteen. You know what I mean? He always makes it. It's fucking crazy. And then he makes like Zangief has these matchups that are really bad for him, and like he has a way of making them look like it's almost in his favor. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. Like he almost beat Luffy. He really came close to being Luffy. He, I mean, he's got these matchups that are terrible for him, and he plays them so well that like I feel like he's the best player because he doesn't even have any bad matchups. He might lose every once in a while, but he makes it. He makes it. He's like a, he's like a trump card, dude. And I feel like he plays the character better than he plays his character better than anyone else plays theirs. That's all I'm gonna say. Whether or not the matchups are so terrible that he can't win tournaments when it comes down to the end, I would love for him to win a major, like a big time major. Because, like, I feel like, I feel like he's, I feel like he's the best player. And, yeah, I mean, right now, he's, like, one of my idols. I mean, Dominion is, too, because he, you know, he's been doing so much shit with Guile for so long, and it's just, like, he's amazing, too. But Dominion beats him every single time. Oh, yeah, people don't know, Geef versus Guile is not a good matchup for Guile at all. At a high level, Geef, at, I mean, he fucking blows him up. Like, you can sit there and get you can sit there and get beat up a lot. Like he, he, Guile can beat Geef out a lot, but once he gets a knockdown, it's pretty fucking free for Geef against Guile. And, like, it's a pretty hard matchup. I know, like, it, people who don't really play it, like, they're like, oh, you know, Guile beats Geef, but no, it, it's not. Like, Snake Eyes, he'll, he's only lost once to Dominion. They've played so many times, and, like, he probably won't ever lose again. Like, that matchup, it's not, it's not, it's not good. It's bad. Just to just to knowledge up the people at a high level, at least I'm sure. I mean, it's my if it's my guy versus Will's Geef, you know, I'm gonna fuck him up. But if I play someone good like Snake Eyes, I wouldn't even get a fucking hit on him. You know, no, I'll get a hit, but like, it's hard to win. It's hard. It's a hard matchup. But yeah, what were you guys saying? Oh, okay. These are really good responses questions, but in the SCFGC, you gotta marry one, fuck one, and kill one. In the F San Diego's FGC, marry one, kill one, fuck one, and you have to pick. You got to pick them. They can be a women or male, and you got to say a reason why. Marry one, fuck one, kill one. Hmm. That's a good question. Ah, uh, wow. I would marry uh, Oscar, my fiance, and I would fuck Tamashiro, and I would kill. Um. I don't know. Who would I kill? You gotta marry one, fuck one, kill one. And, and F, no, it's just the FGC. Oh. San Diego. Uh, I'd probably kill. Blaze? <laughs> oh, no, he. Uh, I would kill Blaze if I had a choice. But. But. I would kill Blaze. But if it's San Diego, he's not San Diego. Oh, do we not count him? Okay, yeah. No, see. But yeah, I, maybe, probably fucking, 
Man, it's so hard because like there's people who like I'm not really good friends with. I feel like I'm pretty friendly with a lot of people. But then there's like people. Really gonna kill them. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, if I'm gonna give an answer, I want to give a good one. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Uh, who's like just? Oh, I might fuck Tomo actually. Oh yeah, I forgot about Tomo. I'd probably fuck Tomo. I probably fuck Tomo. Tomo, I'll fuck you. But who else? Yeah, not Tamashiro. Tomo. Tomo Yoshi. 89. What was this fucking 91 or 89? Yeah, I would probably kill um. Man, I want to kill so many people. It's kind of hard. Fuck. Not Blaze. I would want to kill Blaze, but San Diego. Ooh, ooh, Chad. I kill Chad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I Hold on. Do you have a response for that one yet? No, I don't, man. Okay. Are we counting Sneaky James as uh, SD? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that changes some things. Cause Tom, Tom is going to be SD, but I yeah, yeah, okay. I like, yeah, he, I've seen him now. I would. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably fuck Sneaky James for sure. <laughs> like, no questions <laughs> asked. You can pick girls too, guys. I mean, I don't want to. Okay, um, I would marry. No, but let's face it. Who's yeah, who hot or not, the dude? FGC is huh. better looking than Sneaky James. James. <laughs> yeah, or that's Tim free. Or Tomo. That's so free. Let's face it, guys are. More handsome than girls are, like ninety percent of the time. Like, I'm I don't, not I don't know. Even about, being fucking gay. Like, I don't know I'm about serious. that statistic right there, but I'm serious though. Like, okay, I went to a fucking, I went to a model thing. Like, I went to a runway <laughs> model thing, and all the girls were nasty as fuck, and all the guys looked very fucking handsome. Like, you know what I mean? Like, wow, these guys, they're fucking models. The girls, you're like. What, these fucking water trash? Like, where the fuck did they get these? And these girls are walking out with their tits. Like, one chick had, like, a see-through shirt. You could see her titties and her fucking nipple piercings and her fucking ass. And I was like, dude, you look like shit. You know what I mean? Like, you look like complete shit. You have orangutan titties. At least that guy's got, like, fucking nice pecs. You know what I mean? Like, he works out. Like, your ass is all fucking, like, beat up and shit. It's like, yo, later, dude. But, I mean, I'm just being honest. Like, I feel like it's easier for a guy to be good looking. Like, I'm I'm better looking than any girl in the San Diego FGC, except for maybe my fiance, Asuka. But I feel like in Cody and Vincent, I feel like us three are better looking than any girl that's ever even. No, Jane, Tong's, Tong's girlfriend's, she's pretty. She's better looking than us. But Maybe you, not me. But no one else. I'm actually pretty hot. No one else. I, I, I no one else. Okay. You, you can, yeah. I'll sign that fucking petition. <laughs> okay. You got an answer? Okay. He's not he so, so, yeah, he's still, so I'd fuck Sneaky James. All right, let's get that off of that. I would marry. I'd marry Brian. And oh, Brian. Yeah, I'd marry Brian. He seems like he'd take good care of me. Yeah. Or or Steven. Brian. No, Brian. Brian Wynn, the, my uh, my Hearthstone fanboy. Or oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Steven for the same reason. I feel like they would just both take care of Steven. me. Steven win? Yeah. T Swizzle. I like T Swizzle. He's, w- he's a good looking guy, too. Yeah, he is. He is. And I would kill he Manny. T Swizzle <laughs> might, might be the two <laughs> best. Are you going to repeat that or are you just hiding under your. No, 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 I would kill Manny. <laughs> Manny? Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. I would kill Manny. He always yeah. beats me in a tournament. It's bullshit. Yeah, I would kill Manny. Oh, man. Manny. Yeah, those are my answers. I, I love Manny. The yeah, only- I love you too, but I would kill you. No, this is real talk. Like, I would kill you like twice. <laughs> Manny, like, okay. I've come around to Manny, like, his sense of humor is kind of, kind of fucking weird, but like, I like it now. Like, he said some, he said some funny shit. Yeah, like, really yeah, like he said some really funny shit, but like, like, pretty, like pretty legitimate. And, but honestly, it's taken me a long time to like get back in my good graces after the fucking NorCal Regionals 2012 incident or 2013. What year was it? Can you explain what happened or no? Or no, kidding? I can explain what happened. I can explain what happened. It was fucking bullshit. Like, okay. Hey, what's up, Manny? Oh. Shout out to you in the chat, man. <laughs> no, Manny's legit. Manny's legit. <laughs> Thanks but for coming by Wednesday. Real talk. Real talk. No, keep coming Wednesday because, honestly, you're the only person who fucking plays there. Like, uh, 
I, I go there and I play and I'm just like playing against the computer and playing <laughs> Guitar Hero and shit. Like, and then Manny shows up and I have someone to play against. Will's too scared to fucking play me because he just loses whatever what he picks. Yo, and then, yeah, Sean shows up like at 12 when I'm leaving. <laughs> but like, and then Jason's been like, I don't know, he's been hanging out somewhere after work. No, Jason's been working. I though. swear he's going to Valley View trolling for black <laughs> prostitutes. Like, I'm not supposed to say anything about that, but, like, that's real. But what was he going to say? Yeah. Hey, that's a cool sticker. No, um, Manny. So, NorCal Regionals. We were all going to go get food, and there was five of us. And we were walking to the car. Manny saw us and was like, hey. And we're like, hey, we're going to go get food. And he's like, can I come? And we're like, oh, well, you know, we got a full car. And he's like, oh, well, I want to come. And we're like, okay, well, we'll we'll make it work. And we get there, and we're like, okay, we're not going to all fit in this car because it was a rental. Polydact- it was me, Polydactyl, Will, Will, Will. What was that twice? No. It was Brown Will, not not Will Brown. Yeah. It's not Cool Will. Said Will twice, though. Yeah. No, Will. It was one Will. The other, it was Ilya. And Drew and Drew, no, it was let me see. Drew, me, Polydactyl, Ilya, and Will. and Will. Yeah, that's what it was. And so you know, Ilya, if you've ever been to a tournament with Ilya, he gets these like apps and he looks up food places and then he gets all annoying about wanting to go eat at these places. Like he drove to San Francisco to get a fucking sandwich <laughs> when we were in, like, yeah, he drove like a hundred miles to get a fucking sandwich because he read a good review on it. Like Ilya. You're kind of retarded for that, but, like, at the same time, you've taken me to good sandwich places, and I respect that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. But, so, Manny's like, I'm going to come with you guys. And I was like, okay, this is easy, Manny. All you got to do is get in the trunk, and we'll drive there. And he's like, I can't do that. And I guess, like, he really didn't want to fucking do that. But at the same time, he also, like, wouldn't not come with us. <laughs> so I was like, okay. I was like, all right, all right, all right, cool. I'll get in the fucking trunk. I'll get in the trunk. Like, it's fine. I'll get in the fucking trunk. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> I got in the trunk, and we start driving, and we pull up next to this car, and I st- and, and, and they're asking us for directions. They're like, hey, where's this place? And Polly's trying to talk to me. I start banging on the fucking hood. I start banging on the trunk. I'm like, fucking help me. These people took me. And they're like, what the fuck? And then the light turns green, and Polly actually peels out. And they're like, that was so fucking funny. And I could hear everyone farting in the fucking seats and shit. They don't know, but like everything echo in the fucking trunk and shit. And then we're driving, we're driving, and we get there. And then no one says like, oh, thanks for riding in the trunk, Rico. And I'm like, I get out. And I'm expecting like someone, a man to be like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, like I, you know, I, I couldn't ride in the trunk. Thanks for getting in the trunk for me so I can come. He doesn't say shit. I'm like, okay, man, that's what's up. And we go inside, and there's, like, it's prom night. There's all these fucking, like, 14-year-old girls and shit. Ilya's, like, coming in his fucking pants. No pun intended, but fucking. Sorry, Ilya. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah, that happened. But, no, what's he going to say? Everyone's, like, being fucking retarded. And I, we, we go to BJ's fucking Ilya's like, oh, there's a BJ's here. It's got the best review out of any BJ's in the U.S. I read all the reviews for all the BJ's. I'm like, god damn it, Ilya, you're fucking crazy. And so we go to this BJ's. I get a fucking root beer. Like, it's so good there, dude. The root beer. Yeah, the fucking. We all order food. Fucking. I don't know. Like, we, it, it was like a fucking. It was like a five-seater booth. And somehow, like, we couldn't all fit. Like. I was like, hey, like, we're all getting in. Manny takes my spot in the booth. I'd, like, sit on the ground and shit. I'm like, okay, this is what's up. No, I didn't have him. But long story short, I had to ride in the trunk all the way back. And it wasn't funny this time because we didn't talk to anybody. And I didn't troll him in the trunk. We're like, help me, help me. But there was a handle to open the trunk from the inside. And someone said that they started putting those into cars in case you get kidnapped. And I didn't think it was real, but it is fucking real. Yeah. Mine's broke, too. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was interesting. That was a learning experience. Um, but yeah, that's that that pissed me off, man. He just to be honest. Like I was just like he's saying, I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. It's okay. It's okay. I remember this now. No, it's cool, dude. Like that was a long time ago. You're you're like we're 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 cool now. But like no, that was like a year and a half ago at least at least. 
No, I think it was last year. But, but yeah, that kind of like I was kind of pissed off after that because like I rode in the fucking trunk for at least an hour because of course Ilya would drive 100 miles to get a sandwich <laughs> at a place he wanted to go to. And then this was also the same weekend that he said, "I don't like Asian girls. Like I would never fuck an Asian girl." I like. Would He's saying all this shit, and then, like, a month later, he's like, hey, like, there's this Asian girl I like. How do I talk to girls? I'm like, dude, don't fuck. <laughs> I'm like, you can't fucking tell me that you would never, ever entertain the idea of even, like, looking at an Asian girl. And then two months later, fucking ask me how to talk to a girl. She's Asian. I'm like, okay, well. But Ilya's cool. Ilya's really cool. Go to Vegas with Ilya, dude. Yeah, he's really fun there, man. He is fun. He is. Him and Alan, dude. Alan yeah. is a fucking Yo, badass in Vegas. Dude. I do, I think, which I think is fucking amazing. Yeah, Alan's fucking... Alan, he, like, made us leave him at LD's at, like, 4 in the morning one time. And I was like, how are you going to get home? He's like, I'm going to go home with the stripper. I was like, I don't think so, dude. He's all like, yeah. I'm like, I don't think so. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> Shouts to Temecula, dude. Oh, like... No, oh, Temecula is fucking badass, dude. Like, know, all the guys at Temecula are really cool. Like, I like fucking. JD. I like. I, no, JD is cool. I like JD. I feel like he fucking hates me for some reason. Like he JD a lot. he cool. randomly treats me like fucking his worst enemy for no reason sometimes. Like, we're, we're, like in tournament, I feel like he really wants to beat all of us. Me, you, Vincent. Anytime he has a chance to play us, he wants to beat us. Yeah, why not? Yeah. No, 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 no. But like, yeah, but like, it's it's you no, know, right? They want to feel that like, this is what it feels like to be a king, dude, for like a moment. But no, like, but it, 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 it it's like it's just, I mean, it's just weird because like I've never, I've never, I've never really like, ever been mean to him. But for some reason, I feel like a couple times he's been like, randomly like fucking said some like weird mean shit towards me. And I'm like, okay, that's nice, that's cool. I feel like everyone. I feel like everyone hates me. Like I don't know if everyone else gets this, but like I'll be driving and people will just flip me off. I'll be just driving and people will fucking flip me off. Or I'm driving and some guy's walking by and he'll just fucking flip me the bird off to the side like this. And I'm like, really, dude? Why the fuck are you flipping me off? Well, did those times you fell asleep? No, I was fucking wide awake, just driving, minding my own business. This happens all the time. I was at a restaurant the other day and some random fucking hoodlum came in with tattoos all over his body. He fucking rolled up his sleeves, looked at me, and was like, uh, fucking, I'm a, I'm a fucking badass. I'm like, dude, why don't you do that to someone else? Like, why are you doing it to me? And yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, everyone hates me for some reason. Because you're affiliated with me, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm friends with Cody Denton. I'm a fucking, I'm, I'm a bad person, dude. Cody yeah, the villain. Effort, yeah, he beats up people at his house all the time, dude. The he like, <laughs> yeah, he like he like invites people over to hang out and play games, and then he just fucking starts talking shit and beats them up and shit. That never happens. But. No. If I was a bad guy in One Piece, I'd be fucking. I'd be the coolest bad guy ever. Let me think. <laughs> I, I, no, dude. I'd be fucking Bellamy, dude. I'd be Bellamy. I'd never laugh at you, Luffy. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what a badass. Because he wasn't even that bad of a guy. He was just ignorant as fuck. He's like, eh, the fucking new age of pirates is fucking blah, blah, blah. He was just a dumbass. But yeah. All right, so. But no, no, no. I'm still on my shots to Temecula. Like, I like fucking Cha Cha and fucking Yeah Yeah and fucking. M. Angelo, M. Angelo, M. Angelo badass, dude. fucking that. Big Rig, Nate, yeah. Nate Big, Big Rig's cousin, Big Rig's cousin other guy's name? everyone else, fucking Tokonoko, he's like the dude, fucking, Toko, Toko's he's probably the, the he's, he's actually the coolest guy, he but, oh yeah, the jury guy, oh, man. he was here the other day too, he was, I'll come to you, I, I haven't been there in so long, I've been, I, I honestly, like, Blaze pissed me off one time, I'm like, never gonna go back there, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and then like I hear like they're like, oh, it's moving to Swiss, or whatever. I don't even know what that means. Like, I know it's like a, like a fucking, I don't know, like a country or some shit. But like, it's fucking retarded. Like, I don't know. We're looking at Toko's profile right now. Picture, yeah, see, dude, Toko Noko's a fucking badass man. Like, that's a guy looks just like Cody. Dude. Yeah, fucking, and then, uh, you know, Tamashiro, fucking Sneaky James, Rock, they're like cousin or whatever, who the other guy is, I don't know who he is, the little pretty boy oh, kid, yeah, yeah. 
that guy. I don't know your name, but I hung out with you at Evo for like 10 minutes one time. Yeah, Michelle. Michelle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Michelle and everyone trying to hit it and like her like puking on fucking Robert's dick. I mean, uh, <laughs> do it, Richard. And shout out to me seeing a video on Richard's phone of like his fucking being a sausage and like me never saying anything about it. It was like the red hood, dude. Yeah, I was I'll like, like I'll, I'll never tell anybody either. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? He's like, oh, oh, let me get rid of that. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I was like so scared. I thought it was like. Hey, little beat problems are real, man. No, no, no. It wasn't. It was just fucking. It was weird. That's all I'm going to say, dude. It was fucking weird. It's weird to have a video of your dick on your phone. No, but like this video was weird, dude. But. Was it like masks and unicorns and shit or what? Huh? Weird how? No, it doesn't matter. We'll cover that in the next podcast. Yeah. I don't know. It was just like. Don't worry. We will. It was fucking weird, dude. I'll bring it up. But at the same time, it is what it is, dude. Sometimes, you know. I like Richard. Like, I, everyone, you know. Here we go. <sighs> Ricky, I feel like he he tries really hard to, like, fucking help everyone out and shit. And I, I really like that. Like, I feel like oh I wish I could, like, you know. I wish I could play a little more or at least manage to have better results from time to time but like i try to a certain extent but like it's not like my main priority you know what i mean like it i used to like really 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 fucking play a lot and like i don't as much anymore and like i still like the game but like i honestly play more alpha 2 than i do street fighter 4 now and that's just because i can play it by myself at my house and shit you know what i mean like and it's still fun it's a funner game to play than street fighter 4 by yourself it's way funner i try to beat it on expert with only one token if i lose i restart it like, that shit's fun. And you'll get all the way to Cigar, and then you'll just get hit by one super and die. And you're like, okay, I got to start over again. But I don't know. Ricky's cool. Fucking Jason. Day 3 Jason's a badass. Like, he's, like, he's like the coolest fucking guy in the FGC. Like, he gets kind of crazy sometimes, and, like, it's really funny. But <laughs> you can tell when he's all pissed off. You can, like, piss him off on purpose just to, like, see how he reacts, and you laugh about it. That's, like, a thing to do. I'm sorry if I've done that to you guys. Like, I'm kind of an asshole sometimes, but it's just it's just fun. I'm not sorry. Yeah, you're right. Fuck you. I hate everyone. No, but I would kill Blaze if I had to kill them. <laughs> I don't mean this. I don't really like. I don't even really dislike Blaze. Like the whole thing is like, okay. Okay. No, real talk. Like he's a fucking. He hates me for some reason. And like I've always been kind of cool with him. I think he's pissed off because I went there and everyone's like, man, these monitors are shitty. The monitors he bought, and like I, I don't mind them anymore. But like the day one, like they just, they feel like they, they do have the same specs or whatever as like the normal Asus monitors. But like I feel like they run a little differently. Something is different. You know what I mean? And you can tell. And everyone could tell the first time we ever went there and he had those monitors. And everyone's like, man, these monitors are weird. And I told him I was like, these monitors are fucking weird, dude. And he got pissed off that I fucking said something about it. Everyone wanted to say something about it. I just didn't care because, like, I didn't have anything to lose. I was just like, whatever. But he hates me for that. And anytime he gets the chance, he likes to fucking talk shit. And he always beats me with a con in tournament. And then he fucking gloats about it and shit. And it's like, I just, I don't know. Like, honestly, I would still go to the Temecula tournaments. But he came to an OFC one time and was like, so, I heard you work on a ranch. I'm like, yeah. And I was just playing, like, having a good time. And he's like, so, like. Is it like Brokeback Mountain? Are you a faggot? And I was just like, <laughs> I was like, no, like, what? And ever since then, like, I don't know. Like, it's been my, like, personal goal to, like, not support Blaze. If Temecula had a tournament and Blaze wasn't involved, I would go to it and probably donate, like, fucking 150 bucks, dude. If anyone wants to run a tournament where Blaze isn't involved, like, I'll help you out, dude. If fucking Tokonoko wants to start, like, a fucking tournament in Temecula, like, I'll fucking go every week. And I'll fucking help you out, dude. I'll fucking, like, donate anything I can. I'll do anything for Temecula. But Blaze is kind of an asshole. And he branded himself an asshole. And whether or not I'm an asshole, that's up for you to decide. But I feel like everyone... Likes me more than they like Blaze, so. <laughs> so Vince, we'll let, thank you. We'll let Vince finish his answer. What? That was it. I finished it. What was it? I would kill Manny. Oh, you okay? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so. Yeah, we were. Well, who? What were the two Brian options? It was uh, Brian and Sneaky Jim. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm like, well, all right. Yeah, put the glasses back on. 
Alright. Fuck one, marry one, and kill one. I'd probably... Oh, shit. I'll marry uh, Monique, dude. Oh, shit. I'd, I'd, I'd marry her. I'd fuck G, and I'd um murder... Who would I murder? What about, what about not girls? Oh, not um. What about not girls? Like, wait, what? What about? I don't know, man. I don't know anyone I would murder, dude. Come on. I think I would murder like uh Soul Snaps before he murders anyone else. <laughs> not fucking. <laughs> or maybe Ilya <laughs> before he really kills someone. <laughs> Found the real killer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my alien impersonation is fucking out of control, dude. Yeah, that's my answer, dude. Wait, it was like, oh, anyone that gives me like a creepy, like serial killer vibe, I always feel like, like, damn, this guy's really gonna shoot up, like, you know, salt mines one day or TTF, dude. But yeah, man. But oh, um, guys, uh, this is like kind of digging into our uh, hot or not, but um. Yeah, it is. Man, who who would take care of me? Who's like Tong? I think Tong would take good care of me. Yeah, yeah that's who that's that's a Got like a like, couple but nah. So you want to look at it like in the like in the hmm. like you would marry Oprah, you know what I mean? Cause yeah, money, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Tong, and then who would I like? Probably um, who's a good looking dude in the scene right now? Jeffrey. Je Spider Man, little star looking dude. Charles. Richie, little Richie. No. There, no, not Richie. That's Richie was my option last week. Damn guy, dude. Richie? That's a that's a good question, man. It's so easier when it comes down to girls, especially when there's only like four of them. Um, <laughs> you like can't fucking not pick right. <sighs> pleasure, less. <Less>, um, <laughs> what? Pleasure, pleasure. pleasure. I'm trying to think, man. Someone help me out, dude. Like help me out, guys. Richie. Help me out. Johnny. Sent Johnny. Stop. Chris. That is the only one that I Chris. Like, like, yeah. Who's that one? I'm about to go sneaky, James, dude. With long hair. Oh, oh yeah, long yeah. hair. Was broken. Long hair. No, let's look at No, no. Go. <laughs> I'm gonna steal the mic again. Sneaky James, since he bulked up and like gotten all fucking yoked and shit, he has kind of changed his whole figure in my eyes. Like he, now he's like a man. You know what but I mean? He was always yoked up. I'm looking at old pictures of his, I was like, damn, this is like. You know, you know what I mean? He seems like, like no. He fucking blew up. Him, Ken. Which is Tamar Shield's brother, who's a fucking badass. He's actually, he's the coolest person that like I fucking know, dude. He's like, one of those, like, <laughs> one of those, like Richard's older, older brothers are cooler than him. Yeah, like Ricky. No, I go over to Richard's house to hang out with fucking Marky, dude. Marky's a fucking badass, dude. I hang out with these fucking shit dudes, and I hang out with Mark, and like Richard's like, let's play, and I'm like, no, bitch, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like it's bad, and I fucking creep on his mom and shit. I have her like make me plays, and I just like fucking eat them and like watch like the Filipino channel shows there and shit. Like, the soaps, dudes, it's bad. But. Yeah, no, like, no, Tamar Show's brother's pretty cool, dude. Like, I, okay, I would hang out with him. Like, if he was like, hey, man, you want to go fucking, like, have, like, a fucking play date or some shit? I'd be like, yeah, sure, do whatever. Like, we'll fucking go to the mall and, like, troll and, like, fucking hang out. Like, no homo, just fucking, he's a cool dude, dude. Like, I had a, like, every time we hang out, it's always, like, good times. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, oh, he doesn't ever bitch about anything. Or yeah, like you don't have to hear about Ricky talking about how someone asked for advice and then like just fucking didn't do it and how like it's fucking stupid. Like Mark doesn't say shit, dude. He just sits there and he's like, yeah, man, like fucking blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, let's fucking talk about something that doesn't have to do with fucking frame data or fucking, you know what I mean? Like proper reversals and shit. Like, oh, they don't know how to fucking punish this shit. It's like, dude, come on. Let's talk about something other than fucking Street Fighter for a second, dude. And then he's also pretty good. Huh? Yeah, the bad is Armando. How did that crew? Armando? Oh, yeah, Armando's the like... That looks like Frankenstein and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Frankenstein. Armando's cool. I met him at a party. Like, it was a fucking dress-up party. It was, like, nerds and fucking hipsters and shit. Like, that was, like, the theme. And he looked like an idiot. And I was like, you're pretty cool. But, yeah, I didn't even know who those guys were. They're like, hey, you're Richard's friend. Yeah, I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, like, I'm his brother. And, like, I'm a good friend of his. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, Richard has friends. His brother doesn't look anything like him. He's actually like buff and like, yeah, it's bad, dude. Like Ricky, like <laughs> you're just like, what the fuck? Shout out to Ricky though. He's good at Street Fighter, so like that's all that counts, right? A fish got sponsored before he did, but like, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to fucking what is it? Is it AG Aquarius, dude? There's a fucking there's a goldfish who has a fucking sponsor shit, dude. <laughs> And all he does is push fucking forward and roundhouse and shit. Like, 
I don't even know how they get the fucking fish to control the game. I don't know how they do that. <laughs> huh? Little controllers, bro. They, what? Little controllers. There's little controllers? Yeah. Little fish controllers. How, oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even see that. That's a beta fish, though. They're not beta fish. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean. Manny, don't feel bad, dude. I just saw that. Like, honestly, like, don't feel bad about it. I don't care. Like, it, it is what it is. I got over it. I wasn't even that pissed off. But I was kind of pissed off. That was probably the best turn in, in the world, by the way. Like, I shit my pants the first day on accident. It was really funny. <laughs> it was really funny. We were walking back from Denny's, and, like, it wasn't, like, a nasty shit pants. It was, like, one of those, like, those, like, like those, no, no, those turtle head ones. You know, where, like, it starts to come out, and I had to waddle all the way back to the room. Like, I had to, it was so bad, dude. Did shit touch underwear? Or no, 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 no. She didn't touch underwear, but, like, pants yeah, but it was, it's funnier if you tell the story like that. I was just clenched butt cheeks, dude, and just trying to make it. It was bad. Fucking everyone was making fun of me and shit. No, that was the nicest hotel room, best oh. venue. Fucking god damn it. You're going to put down the shit. <laughs> no. But that was a really good tournament. That was really, really good. Fucking Drew tried to fuck so many people, and it didn't work. It was the funniest thing. Yeah, shout to that guy. Shout out to Drew. Shout out to Drew bodying me in that money match last week, dude. Like, honestly, he played really good. He played better than fucking... I like he played it so solid. Like it's not like he fucking frauded me out even in the slightest. He beat me so legitimately that like I am like that's all I can tell that's all I can say. Like I can't even tell you what happened. I'm speechless. Like he fucked me up. He played it perfect. Good for you. You're a fucking good friend of mine. I wish you'd come around more often. Like I wish you, you know, started a tournament somewhere in Temecula. Cause it'd be fun. But, yeah, this goddamn fish, dude. <laughs> but, no, um, I don't know. What are we talking about now? Okay, um, let's go back to your One Piece. Okay, if you had to be um, a bad guy for One Piece, who would it be? And then after you do that, I want you to make your own character in One Piece. And what would be your power? Or if you make up a fruit, you can have fruit. Or you can be just a badass like Shanks. Or whatever. But first you have to, first you have to pick your bad guy. Oh, and a good guy, if you would want to be. And then you can make your own character. Um, any bad guy, just to the like their character or like the power, just or what? Just in general, like who who do I who do I think the coolest bad guy is? I feel like the baddest ass bad guy is either Doflamingo or fucking Blackbeard. And I feel like they're like really good villains. But like guys, I liked. I mean, I like Crocodile a lot because like he ended up being kind of a good guy. He helped Luffy a couple times. He was pretty cool. He like always wanted to beat up Whitebeard, and he could like never do it, which is pretty badass, dude. Like, I like. And the one time it was close enough doing it, Dolphin Eagle stopped him, dude. Like, there's a lot of like not that cool bad guys. Like, Gecko Mori is not that cool, but he's Foxy. still. I like him. Foxy, yeah, Foxy, that guy's a dumbass, but he was. That was still a cool arc if you read it. If you watch One Piece, you know you come away with a lot of like, oh, that was kind of shitty. That was shitty. If you read it, you don't really get that you know it just it feels like it's all going towards like you know the greater good or whatever you know it's building up the story and it's making like it's making it legit but i don't know dude i like z from the fucking movie but i know that's like not real but i i, I said dude i think bellamy is a fucking cool a cool character like he was a dumbass he got knocked out one punch and that was the end of it until he came back and like Almost won until he got king punched. I don't know if you guys are caught up. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I just ruined it for Manny. My bad, dude. Fucking. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's legit, dude. Like, it's legit. Payback for ruining it for Megan. Sorry. <laughs> I know you, like, told her that, like, fucking someone dies. Manny told Megan, like, the biggest spoiler in One Piece. I'm like. He, like, fucking spoiled it all for her and shit. She was, like, crying. No, just kidding. That did happen, though. But, um, yeah, I think I think Doflamingo is probably the baddest-ass bad guy. Other than Blackbeard, he's, like, the most villainous character. You know what I mean? He's, like, the clear-cut, I'm going to be the bad guy at the end. I'm the fucking bad guy. But doflamingo has been a bad guy since chapter, like, 150 or something. He's been introduced. He's been a bad guy forever. He's really good bad guy. I really cannot wait for this fucking scrap to happen between him and Luffy. It's gonna be sick. I want to see all the match up. I want to see. I want to see who gets who, dude. No, Law's gonna get like Zulu. I feel like, and then Luffy's gonna. What's his name? I keep calling him the other guy's name, but you know I don't want to be mean. Uh oh. What's his name, dude? The booger guy. What 
the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, Trouble. Oh, Trouble. I feel like Trouble's gonna have like a big fight, dude. It's probably gonna be against like Usopp and like. It's gonna be against Usopp, yeah. yeah. No, I don't know actually who Usopp's gonna fight. He might not fight. Him. What is this? Almost there. I'm on chapter 729. Alright, so what's a good guy? If you had to be a good guy, who'd you be? I like Zoro a lot. I like Marco the Phoenix out of like non like the non Mugawara pirates. I like Marco the Phoenix the most. Um, out of the the Mugawara pirates, other than Luffy, you know, if you don't think Luffy's like the coolest character, then you're just fucking out of your mind. But Zoro, other than him, is like he's a badass character as far as the the anime and manga goes. Whatever, he's just super tough. He's super loyal. Like. And, and that's why that whole arc, you know, people were like, oh, fucking uh, Thriller Bark was so bad. It was dumb as fuck. Like, no, dude, Perono was a badass. Zoro, like, taking the fucking hit for, like, Luffy and, like, not. That was that was so cool. That was cooler than, like, other arcs that people think are cool. You know what I mean? Like, freaking Sanji finding him out in the woods. Like, what happened? He's like, nothing at all. Like, that shit's badass, dude. Like, that was really cool. I feel like he's a really cool character. And like Nami, Nami's probably like the lamest character like on the Big Bar Pirates. Like I like her, she's you know she's cute or whatever, but she doesn't do anything. Steven, fucking Lee, whatever your name is, Sugibaka, you're an idiot for thinking she's like cooler than Usopp. Like maybe you're not an idiot. That's pretty harsh, but you're a dumbass for thinking that <laughs> for thinking that Usopp's the lamest character and that she's like the coolest. What does she have? What has she even done in like the last like quarter of the fucking like the last thing she did was in fucking that impel down not impel down what was it called uh that one where, where they did the buster call yeah and it's lobby that was the last time she even did anything like i don't remember anything since then like she hasn't done shit literally i don't remember her doing anything at the fishman island i don't remember her doing anything i just don't remember her doing anything at punk hazard she might have like made her bodies with uh sanji and sanji got to save those kids that was funny yeah she said the kids oh good shit but i don't know Hmm. So, it's been a while. What was the question? It's been a while. If you can choose one bad guy in One Piece to be and a good guy. Oh, fucking Rob Lucci for free and good guy, Shanks. That's like that's so easy. Those are two badass ass characters. Rob Lucci was a badass. He was like he's like the only like super tough Zoan guy so far. At least until we see what Kaido looks like. So I think Zoans are the sickest ones. Dude, Rex is pretty badass. Yeah. Dude. Oh yeah. Drake Drake Drake's pretty sick too. He ate the pacifist and shit. Um. And Shanks just because Sa- Shanks is just a badass. Shanks is so fucking badass. And yeah, him for sure. If it wasn't him, it would be Usopp. Because Usopp's a badass. Alright. I don't know. The bad guys in like One Piece are just like, they're bad. Like, I would like, Arlong, he was bad. He, he locked Nami in that room forever. <laughs> killed like his sister or like, you know what I mean? Killed like the mom and like, he and then like promised her everything if she just wrote these maps. And like, Enel, that guy was a badass too, man. He like, <laughs> He just took over, like, Sky- Skypeda and just, like, was a god. And, like, only Luffy could have messed him up. But he was, like, he, like, raped him. Anel, like, Anel was a badass. He was a cool bad guy. He was pretty cool. And, he, and um, the knight, the god, the, the the first, that guy was badass. Yeah, he was so cool. And then, I don't know, all the bad guys are badass, dude. Like, Doflamingo, he's, like, my favorite character in the whole series. Crocodiles, I don't know. But if I, had to, if I had to choose one, dude, I can't even think, man. And then Blackbeard, dude, he, I mean, he literally, he got, he's the reason why Ace is dead. I don't give a fuck, spoiling. And he's the reason why fucking Whitebeard is dead, dude. And I really think in the end of the arc, or the end of the series, he's gonna, like, go back to the graves and just, like, wreck them and start, like, a war, dude. Like, and then all, like, they're gonna choose, man. It's either gonna be on Luffy's side or Blackbeard's side. And the Marines are gonna have to, like, choose Luffy. And it's gonna, it's gonna be crazy, man. I swear to God, something bad's gonna happen. But I would have to pick, um, damn, Von Ogre is badass, too. Damn. All Blackbeard's crew is pretty sick. Fucking Jesus is badass. Um, yeah, All of his original crew is so fucking badass. Doc Q, he's always dying in the forest. He's like 60. Yeah, he's like he's a badass, yeah. But, yeah, I would have to pick Doflamingo, dude. Because I have, like, a lot of... I would have all of my figures. I have, like, the most Doflamingo figures, dude. So, Doflamingo and a good guy. That eagle guy from, um... What, what the... Oh, that guy's the, badass, dude. The guy, like, in the end, you thought he was dead, but he was, like, flying. Oh, Pell? Yeah, Pell was yeah. a badass, dude. Or the guy where, like, or, or, like, or just not even, like, being a badass, the guy that's, like, he knew Sky P was real, dude, and he, like, cried, dude. Oh, fuck. Good guy, though. Oh, Cricket, or whatever the fuck Sanji was a badass. Yeah. Right now, like, the, the, the coolest guy, I think, is the samurai guy, dude. That guy is so cool right now. The guy, the, yeah, Kamehameha, dude, he's, like, so cool, man. Like, 
And, his, and then his homeboy, dude, is like so badass, oh, dude. Bad. He's like, he drew all the, the ducks and then the ladders. Yeah. Everyone was talking shit about the ladders, dude. So bad, <laughs> but yeah, man, like, that's it right there, dude. So Doflamingo and um, Kimon, yeah, Kimon, right? Kimon? Yeah, Kimon was badass, dude. I can't wait. I know, like, the next arc, they're going to go to that, the Wado, right? Is that where he's from? They have to. They're, they're going to go there, and that's probably going to be, like, a cool arc, man. It's going to be, like, Feudal Japan, and, like, the bad guy's probably going to be some, like, Shogun guy with, like, wearing some, like, Oni man. I don't know. <laughs> And he's going to have, like, some sword that Zoro wants. And it's going to be like, I don't know. It's going to get crazy, dude. I'm pretty sure. I guess. I'm. You know, I'm guessing the next arc is going to be all about, like, Zoro, dude. Because, like, there's going to be something in that Wado that he needs. Actually, no, I take it back. The good guy I want to be is Smoker. Smoker versus Virgo, dude. That was so sick, dude. But, yeah, man. And then there's Dragon. You don't, we don't know anything about Dragon, dude. Like, he's. Damn. Anyway. Yeah, man. That's a good question. So, man. Oh, it's just 2.30. Oh, it's not that. No, we're good. Um. Man, all right. Uh, okay. If you can have a, a double fruit power, what would it be? And only one hockey. You can only pick one hockey. You can't have them all. You can only pick one. So one double fruit power and one hockey. What would it be? Oh, Emperor hockey for sure. That, is that the one that you just like fuck people up, right? Yeah. yeah. The Conqueror's hockey. What's whatever. the one where you can dodge bullets? Is that the same one? Um. Like it always slows down time, and you just like run through the bullets. No, that's a different one. Well, you can still talk about it. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, it out if I could have any devil fruit power, I would be fucking. I like what's his name, dude. I like Marco, uh, the Phoenix, dude. So that's a Zo uh, Mythical Zoan type. But what? Okay, so you would have Zoan, but is there a certain monster you want to be, like a beast, yeah. or would you just be a Phoenix? A Phoenix, dude. I think he's the coolest character. I like his character the most, at least. He looked cool. Like, he was just a badass. Other than that, Whitebeard's like, oh, honestly, the whole Whitebeard Pirates, like, they're fucking badasses, dude. That's Emperor Hockey, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright. So, okay. If I could have one, it would be the, it would be the Armament Hockey for sure. The one like like where your body gets I super did. tough. Oh, yeah. like Virgo. Yeah. Iron yeah, I would have that, and if I had a power, it would be. It would be a zone. It would be a, to be a tiger. That would be fucking badass. Cause like Rob Lucci is like my favorite character, man. Like and he turned into a leopard, so like something like that would be good. And the armament's just like the sickest one. I don't know why. The other ones are like too good. Like, I feel like that one would just be badass. You just like punch people to death and shit. That's all Z had, man. And he was a badass. I'd have to have this with a mantra. Cause that allows you to uh, sense the presence of others, even if they are concealed from a view too far. You know what? I think Von Ogre has that, dude. He has to. Because he sniped so that bird from like 500 man. miles, right? Yeah. I don't know, man. So I'd have, I would have the Matra one, and then if I had to pick a... Man. It would, I would want something like crazy, dude. Like something like... If you step on my shadow, like you just die, dude. Like something like Shikamaru or... That dude, the captain from Bleach, that plays the game where, oh, like, yeah, the shadow yeah. ones and, like, or, like, you have to hit, you can only, like, like you, a pair of you have to like choose that? a color, and then, like, that's the only color you can hit on my body to, like, deal damage to me. Like, I don't know. That's just cool. So, like, a pair of Mesia type? Something, yeah, something yeah. Like, something that, like, yeah, something, like, evolves. Like, that lady that washes the, the sins. Yeah. <laughs> what is that, dude? Like, exactly, yeah. that's just so crazy, yeah, man. Those are the, most, like, those are the like, coolest like, ones, dude. You want with those. Yeah. Or, like, if you laugh and at my joke, you die. It's like, damn, what the hell is this power, dude? That's a pretty good one. <laughs> but yeah, man. Damn. We're gonna are we allowed to do um scenarios? You know what I mean? Are we? Are we Rico? Are we allowed to do porn star scenarios? Sure. Okay. Do you know what the porn star scenarios are? Yeah. Okay. So this is how we usually end them almost. So um yeah, we're wrapping up. But we're not I don't know. It's up to you though. If you have any more quick if you want to talk more, I'm down. We can do or favorite you Sega. If favorite Sega anything, questions, anything. Anyway, but okay, scenario. You have to pick one. One porn star and a scenario and how it would go down. You want to get my question? I have to pick a porn star and a scenario. Yeah, like how how would it work out? Like how would it play out? How would it play out? How was all these? <laughs> hey, was Nikki there? No. Fuck they, you. They, they, they changed a lot of people, so I don't know if she's still there. Oofa. Yeah, so I don't know. Porn stars. I haven't. Uh, I haven't been keeping up on the whole. Porn star. Okay, you can also you have access to a time machine. You can go back to any period of their career. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like 
who is like the best at any time at any time i don't know dude i was never really i kind of like the amateur like shit like the the chicks you never saw more than once they just did like one little like amateur thing and that was it those are like my favorite or i like them a lot but i mean I, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it jenna hayes and she was young like really young she was fucking hot as hell and no, it'll be like one of those like yeah, one of those naughty America, like my best friend's like little sister, or like you know what I mean, like one of those things. Probably. Or like maybe a teacher. You don't have to go anytime soon, do you? I should. I got work tomorrow, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can wrap it up whenever, all right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean that's we'll wrap it up that's good. Nakadashi for sure at the end. If anyone's privy to that. Yeah, I'll, look up. Up I'll look it up later. Alright. Yeah, that's important. Oh, you want Don to do one too? No, we won't. And it would have to be like one of those things where like you know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. I don't I don't know. No, I don't know. What do you mean, brother? No, it's okay. I don't want to say anything. Gotta go um I feel like I've been picking like too many Asian girls. Should we go like Okay. Okay, Cody Bryant. That's what's up, alright. Alright. And it's like, oh, I like what and it's just one of those like Cody Bryant. She's like a black porn star. So and then it's it, and it's like one of those it's like um I'm at a a, cl a basketball game, I guess, and then um, I don't know. It basically it starts off as in like I didn't know a white boy was into the chocolate, and then it was like, oh, you know stuff, and then it'd be like, yeah, it would just be something like that. The opposite of interracial, my favorite. Yeah, that's it, dude. That's what's up. Yeah. All right. Does it have to be a porn star? Or could it be somebody else? Uh, yeah, I don't care. That's, I All don't right, know that. so here's, what's, here's the scenario. <laughs> well, let me think of, how did the beginning go? I worked this all out with Jason earlier because it was so funny. Hmm. All right, let's just, let's just West Coast Warzone's coming out. I win West Coast Warzone. I'm going home. It's late. I hate people. I, I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I beat a Maz in a tournament. Whatever. It doesn't matter. The, how and that happened is irrelevant. I won a tournament somehow, magically. I got some money finally, and I'm driving home. It's just me. And I go to Rigoberto's because I'm fucking hungry as fuck. And I get there, and it's just the sexy Rigoberto's girl. And she has only an apron on, and she's just eating this burrito behind the counter. And I go in there, and I'm like, I, just, I see you like burritos, but how do you feel about raw tacos? So I unleash the beef. She's surprised. She likes it. And she's like, with extra sour cream. And then I just hop over the counter, and it's just that's just what happens. And there's just hot sauce and horchata all over the place. And that's the scenario. Me, the sexy Rigoberto's girl, and horchata. And that's it. I like it. All right. Okay, we're. I think we're gonna close up soon, dude. But I'm gonna ask, say one more thing. All right, I think you're gonna answer the question, Rico, and then I want you, Rico, to ask us me, me and Vince separate different questions. Okay? Are you Are you okay, Vince? Rico? I'm looking at Kobe Bryant. Is it Kobe Bryant? No, that's like. She's just. I don't know. I think she's a really like beautiful, like really pretty black chick. I wish she did more scenes. But she didn't. I want you to. I want you to ask me and Vince questions for a couple. There's a couple. I know it's getting late, but here's she my question. Up, I hot. also want to say is, what is your like? I know you're, I think you already said it, but whatever. You can repeat it. Your, what's your number one FGC moment? It can be any, any time, any time. The one I beat XSK Samurai for okay. sure, definitely. When I beat him because I I really wanted to beat him. I t I was talking. To ask in the hotel room that day, I was like, all I gotta do is get to him, dude. If I beat him, it'll be the hypest shit alert, dude, that's ever happened. Guy, <laughs> <laughs> you're leaving now. The greatest <laughs> thing is if I can beat this guy, because I knew I could do it, and my whole, my, I always felt like I could beat him. I played him once before, and I don't know. I really wanted to beat him, and I did beat him, and I got bodied after that, but it doesn't matter because he was what I was aiming for. I told, I said, even said, I was like, I don't care if I lose right after it and just lose again i don't care all i want to do is get to him and i want to beat him and that was it and i did it and it was it was hype as fuck it was hype as fuck that and when we won the team tournament no we didn't win the team tournament we got second place in the team tournament but we fucking beat Ilya and i, I ocv like those five teams in a row yeah man that was it dude the for the formation of three e is definitely the moment for me okay this is my okay so we'll just tell the story about the because that was my favorite moment too when I, went, I also went about Will. I like Will. Anyway, so, you know, Street Fighter was dying in San Diego. Like, it was just, like, shitty, dude. It was so bad. Like, they were pretty much, like, right, like, for some fucking reason, like, 
They had separate days for Street Fighter and Marvel. And then, like, there's only, like, five. It was, like, me, Nia, Ilya, B-Rai, Manny. And it was just, like, that was it. Like, every Thursday. And sometimes they didn't even fucking do it. But for some fucking reason, like, Marvel had, like, a million people every Monday. And then, like, I tried so hard. Like, what can we do to, like, make this better? Blah, blah, blah. Like, this is the typical stuff I've been doing for the last fucking seven years of my goddamn life. But... And then, like, for some reason, one day, like, um, I keep getting, like, a fucking Mr. S Ray. Certified always tells me to go with him to OFC. And I'm just like, uh, I, I, I was always doing something Saturday for some reason. But it was a lie. I was like, I just don't want to go up there, man. Like, I'm lazy. Fuck it. But then I was, like, really thinking. He's like, yeah, you should go up there because I'm always getting, like, whatever, second place. And there's only, like, one faggot guy that I can't beat. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you can beat him, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, whatever, man. And then, like, one day, like, I'm just like, I really want to, like, get better in this game. And, like, the only way to get better is, like, play people. And, like, there seems to be, like, a lot of people going there. And then, so I'm asking Ray, like, okay, what's the information? And he's telling me that it's at a house on base. I was like, okay. And then like, the, the next thing that happens is, like, oh, it's not there no more. It's at, like, a bank. And then, like, I didn't go. And then, like, Ryan Tang went. He goes up there, and like, he's like, oh, yeah, go up here, blah, 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 talk about it. And then, like, in my head, I was like, wait, I want to go up there, man. I want to represent, you know, Street Fighter. He can have Marvel. I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't want Ryan to be, like, the, the representative of Street Fighter. Like, I don't want people to look at him and be like, this is Street Fighter. <laughs> and that was just me, though. And then, so I go up there, and I'm like, dude, this is – and I bring K-Sexy, dude. And I'm like, dude, this place is so cool, man. And I think I got third, man. Like, I, like, I got third, and there's a lot of people. That was my first. I was, like, really happy. I was like, dude, there's, like, 30 people here, man. I got third place, and I didn't get $3. I got, like, 20 bucks, man. Like, and I was supposed to go to, like, a wedding, and I was supposed to go, like, to K Crisco's birthday. And then like, I was just, like, but I wanted to check out, the, the like, the place, man. And it was, like, really badass, dude. And then, the, like, sadly, the only person I knew was Richard, dude. So I was talking to Richard, me and K6, and I was talking to everyone else that came from San Diego. It wasn't a lot, though. It was only, like, it was literally only Ryan Tang. And paper stacks. I miss paper stacks so oh, much, shit, dude. Me too, man. And then I hope he this I'm trying place. to remember what happened. I think I had to beat. I just beat like a bunch of people. Like I really like. I didn't know. And then I, I the only people I remember playing was Sneaky James and Tomashiro, cause cause Tomashiro sent me to losers and he sent me home. He actually got second at that tournament. And then um, I beat James and James almost beat me. Like James was. I was like, wow, this Ryu's like. I was like, there's a lot of Ryu's up here, dude, and they're all pretty good, dude. And then like the the game in losers against Tomashiro was really close, man. So then I got, like, I had a good time, man. And I, I, sadly, I only knew Richard, dude. But then, like, I was like, you know what? I go home. This place is really cool. I was, I was promoting it all the time. Promoting, promoting, promoting. And then one day, it was just like, <laughs> then I, I'm just like, I always go up there. And I'm always just, like, looking. I always, like, I always, like, observe. And I, I'm just looking at every single person who's there. Like, I, I was like, I know Jason, like, little Jason. Like, I've seen him. He's funny. But I'm like, who's you? Who are these guys, man? It was like, it was you. It was Rico, Brandon, and Vince. I was like, these guys are always, like, kind of cracking me up, dude. Like. The one side, the one that got me is like I had to play Rico, and then like he was just, and then you're yelling at Sean, and the only reason you're yelling at Sean is because like he was charging his phone in the Xbox. I don't know if you remember this, and he and he couldn't get the the USB, USB in, in USB. and then you're like you're just mad. You're like hurry the fuck up, Sean. He's like, oh I can't get it in. Is that what all the girls say? And you're like, dude, this guy's so funny, dude. Like this is like just me talking. And then I was like, and then and then in my head I was like, dude, I want to know these guys. These guys are fucking badass. So one day. They're like they just announced a three v three. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna like ask like these two to team up with me, man. And then I was just like, and then you, I don't know for some reason, we're just into all the same shit, blah blah blah. And we team up. And then, and then, but then, but then the crazy thing about that, and that's when like a lot of the SD players started coming up, and we had really big turnouts, man. So there was a forty five. That's what I keep saying that like the reason why like. Street Fighter didn't die is because of like o the Ocean Side o OFC basically because it did because I, I, I could have been a dick and said like you know what fuck this place like I'm not going but I did and I was like dude like if you want to play Street Fighter yeah come up here man because this little kid that I'm looking at right now thinks he's good and then like it's just it was bad and we have a team tournament where like we all like one piece what would be a badass team name we're just like dude the emperors are like the strongest man like just the three E F A and then <laughs> someone had to be negative about it I'm not gonna say who it was. But he was like, oh, 3E, like, he, then he said it in Japanese. That doesn't even sound right, man. Like, I was like, I'm like, I hate you so much right now, dude. Like, that did happen. Dude. don't worry about it, don't dude. Worry about it. <laughs> but I was just like, I'm not trying to, like, make anyone, like, and they're probably, they're have thoughts in their head, you know. Yeah. But it's just like, dude, I was, and I was like, dude, don't ruin a good thing right now, man. Like, change my kill you, you know, you, you probably would, actually. And then and then we play, dude, and it's like, it's so, yeah, it's so cool, charts. man. Like, we're doing so, like, and the only, the, like, we, like, we had to play, like, 
in my head, the only team I was scared of, I was scared of two teams, I'll be honest with you. It was it was obviously Richard's team and it was Ilya's team. Because Richard and Ilya are obviously I think they're the two best players. And they're and they're on two separate teams, dude. Like fuck man. That means like we're running into two good players. And then their teams weren't bad, man. No, their teams were good. It was w- w- it was Mark, Ilya, Sean, and it was No, it was Mark, Richard, and Sean. Mark, Ilya, Sean. No, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. Mark, Richard, Sean, and then Ilya, Chad, and Lacey. And those were good teams, man. Yeah. So then we lose like we're we're just I don't know, like there's a lot of teams, man, because it was a big, it was like a big venue, a lot of teams. Like it was like the Gan Akuma guy, and then like that guy, the Dawson player with Dudley that has the hot girlfriend that yeah, thinks yeah. he's cool. Oh yeah, yeah. And it was just all, the, it was just like a lot of teams, man. And it was like, yeah, dude. And we, and like we went in the first two, like really conventionally, like and, like I didn't even have to play, Yo, man. All of us OCV. Yeah. Like we each OCV the team, like and then like, and then we just lost to like, I want to like I think honestly we beat I think someone beat Mark and we lost to Sean. And then that was my like my oh for some reason like then we beat them. Did we beat Sean? Yeah. I beat I beat Tyler Shirt, he was the last person. Okay, yeah, okay. I dashed ultra though. But anyway, in the end, like yeah, in the end, like we're just like, dude, we're just, I'm just like so happy. Like this is like the coolest team ever. Like I'm just like talking shit, man. Like I don't give a fuck who you were, man. I was just like throwing chairs, like, let's go. And then we had to play. Dude, the wor- and then we had to play. Like it, this wasn't even like losers finals, man. No. Because um Lovo, Josh, and Eric made the losers finals, dude. Yeah. Good shit to them, man. And I was just like the whole time I was like, dude, this is not lo- like all we do. All we have to beat is like this team. We have an easy ticket to like fucking win this, like win it grand finals, man. And then the whole time, dude, I, I, it was like a movie, man. It was like it was like Friday Night Lights because in the end we fucking lost. But it was just like, if you like watch, like if Night you like Friday Night Lights, dude, I ro- watched that movie. That movie is so badass, dude. Like that whole thing is. It's like, like <laughs> we're we're like in the beginning, we're like we're down, dude. But we, but we get to the championships, dude. Like, and then it's like. Like, we had to, like, I think, I, if I remember the lineup, I believe Rico was first. Rico, Vince, and me. And then, like, Rico played Chad. And the whole thing was, like, like, that, like, like Rico said earlier, like, dude, Chad always beats him. But it was, like, one game. And, like, it was, like, Rico just played everything right, dude. And he beats Chad, man. I was, like, damn, you got him. And then Lacey comes up. And Lacey just kills Rico. No, I beat Lacey. Wait, I thought. I beat Lacey. He beat Lacey. No, he didn't. Yeah, no, he did. Because that's why I remember it. Because it was, because we, it, no. it, what is it? It, it? it is, dude. Really? Let me tell the story, man. We'll, we'll bring it up. And then let me tell the story. And then, and then like, so then you lose a, like Lacey, dude. And then, then Vince comes up and just destroys him, man. And then Ilya comes up. And then the game against Ilya and you was really close, right? I think it was close. And then like, the re- like I'm worried, like, cause I'm like, dude, I'm the anchor, like, I don't, I haven't, oh my god, dude, like, I suck at like team tournaments, man. That's all I gotta say, man. And then the whole time, like, I think. I, <laughs> I told Rico this. I felt so bad. So I was like, just give me to Ilya, man. Like, just give me to Ilya. And then, like, I played Ilya, dude. And for some reason, I just, like, everything like Gade told me or every anyone told me, just, like, I did, man. Just play safe. Don't do anything stupid. Like, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I beat him, dude. He, like, wh- I, remember, I, I remember how I beat him. He whipped a fucking DP, dude. And just murked him, man. And I popped off so hard, dude. It was, like... You you, you you can hear it on the stream, dude. And it was just, like, so sick. And then we, play, and then we had to play... And we had to play. We're in losers finals, and we had to play Lovo. Was, like, on, I'm not the time to say shit. But I was like, dude, we got this, man. Like, I was like, grand finals, here we come, dude. Like, here we're here. And then like, we just we had to play Richard's team. And then I think it did come down to like, we had to play Richard last, whatever. And then like, but like, Rico is doing the fucking Goonies, like the this is our time. Oh, it was, that was like the cool. Like after that, dude, I literally watched that game, like the that the, the match between Ilya's team, like. 50 times because it was like you can just hear everyone going crazy in the back man i'm probably gonna i'll probably link it with this dude but um yeah man that's probably one of like i mean i've been around this scene for a long time but like finding like oc and you guys like it's, it's like it changed my like prescript like my life and oc and also like when i made the 5 eighth time for the specialists in vanilla and almost beat filipino champ oh, oh anyway that was vanilla dude but i was there i was on the specialist dude it was me yeb desi shady k and I'm, I feel like I'm missing someone. And Stein Mania, dude. That was the, the five best players in San Diego and Vanilla, apparently. That was so badass, dude. And it'd be like, I, I bodied Arizona. Almost beat Sabre, dude. That was so cool, dude. But yeah, that yeah, that was like a... Old white guy? Yeah, he was like... This is, and this is when he was actually like... He was in soccer, and he was like... He was like... like he, was, he was good, man. But yeah, man. That was it, dude. So I think we're going to close it up soon. So unless, do you have any questions for us, Rico? Like one more question for me and Vince separately, though? Like... Vince, this, Cody, this, and then we'll and we'll go into our last two segments. Our one and then we'll finish it off. Vincent, 
What's your favorite War 3 hero? Oh, man. Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. That is... That's fucking crazy, man. Um... I know he's not the best one, but my favorite is definitely Dreadlord. Just because, like, his ultimate's like a fucking game changer. Like, I feel like, like, Ray's dead and, like, Death and Decay and Locust Storm's like, who gives a shit about that? This is all on Dead Shows, though, except that's what I play. Like, they're like, oh, okay, they're cool, but whatever. But if, when the fucking Inferno gets dropped in the middle of that shit, it's fucking game over. Like, you can't fuck with that. The Dreadlord was so sick. Sleep sucked. Whatever. Like, people were stupid. They didn't know how to wake people up. It was the best fucking ability in the game. That's, that's good shit. But just because of the Infernal, I don't pick the Dreadlord. That guy is such a fucking bat. He's just this, like, giant walking bat that gives no fucks. Like, that hero was so sick. That's my favorite one, for sure. Out of all of them, all the neutrals. Neutral ones, I'd pick Fire Lord, though, because he's fucking cool. He looks like Ragnaros. So, yeah. Definitely him. Because Undead's the best. All the other races are fucking bullshit. If you play Night Elf, I fucking hate you. If you play Orc, you're full of shit. I hate you, too. If you're a human, you're a bitch. If you play Undead, you're just a fucking man. End the story. Shout out to Warcraft 3. That's the greatest game ever made, I think. It's in my top 10. It's might even be one. Shout out to Dix. Cody. <laughs> He's already laughing. I don't know. Tell him whatever you ask. It could be anything. You're trying to kill yourself right now. What's your... Uh, What's your? Like we can do like just the next Friday you can do the guest again. Hey man, like maybe there's a part two. I don't know. You tell me. We haven't even touched on favorite Nintendo games. And, <laughs> and, uh, and coolest uh, moments. Might be a part two. And getting pneumonia. And, and it could be at OC, dude. So you can do like longer. Dude. What was your best? What was your second? No, third. What was your? What was your biggest loss? Like what was the loss you took the hardest? Oh, dude. Um, that's a really good question, man. Um, I think it had to be. I want to hit super. The last Evo I went to before this one, like, where it kind of went all downhill and, like, Shambles. I broke my group. Like, oh, it was bad. Anyway, Shambles. so, because I, I took a lot of losses, man. Like, I I, I was at, like, the – I would always get top three, but I always get, like, the third place curse. Right. But then – and then, like, my every goal was, like, Evo was just, like, just get out of pools, blah, blah, blah. Like, and then, like, someone at the time was, like, why are you even go? Like, you're not, you're not like, Justin or anything. I was, like, whatever, man. So I went, and then, like, dude, oh, like, no one made it out of the pools, man. Like, it was only, like, two, like, I think only Shady K got out of pools, dude. And, like, Ray was, like, the closest. And it was just, like, I was, like, fuck it, dude, this is my time to shine, man. And then, like, I, I, I play in my pool, and I play someone, and then I lose to some, I don't know. I Like, everyone in my pool, like, there was no one in my pool, man. Like, this was, like, me, man. It was, like, my time to shine, dude. So they're all, no, actually, no, June was in my pool. June and Marn was in my pool. Yeah, so then like, fucking, I, I I lose to a pad geef. That's what I remember, cause this pad geef bodied Marn on on stream, dude. So then I'm like, but then like I'm just like going through, like cause like losers was like, I think it was like 32 people. Out. I don't know, but I'm just going through crazy. Like I'm just like every match I win, I pop off and like, jump on the chair and like, and then the thing is like it was like a it was a later one too. So everyone was watching, like all the SD was watching me, dude. It was like crazy. Like Sam, like Sam, Sam was just everyone was there that you can say, man. And then they're just like talking shit. It was like it was so. I, I was like, dude, I'm gonna do this, man. This is all for everyone, man. And then like I fucking I beat June. I beat Marn. Dude, well, anyway, I, I get I get to like the loot, like one more to get out, right? I lose to some fucking Gen guy from NorCal, dude. This guy bodies me, and I, I worked so hard to like playing everyone, and like, I just get bodied by this Gen guy. And then like in my head, I'm like, fuck you, yeah, dude. Like you left me, and like I had no more Gen to play. And then like I lost. And I just sat there in my chair for, like, 20 minutes, just like, fuck, man, like, I'm done with this game, dude. Like, I'm going to go home and just, like, play casually. Like, I go home and, like, my, do my, my dog dies. And then, like, I break up with my, like, girlfriend. I was like, dude, this, like, what the hell is going on in my life? You know what I mean? It was like, it was like it all happened in one day. And I was just like, the whole time I was like, Shambles. I swear to God, dude, like, it was just like, I'm over it, man. Like, I'm breaking up with you. I'm not playing Street Fighter no more. Like. I'm done. But then, like, I just, then people were like, no, nah, just keep playing, blah, blah, blah. Like, you're, like, a major part of the scene. I don't think I am. Wink, wink. But, and then, and I did, and then, like, later on, like, you know, that's when the whole OC thing happened. And then another one, like, a big loss, too, was, it, it wasn't even me. It's when Legate, um, I think, like, when Legate was at Evo, and then he was one away from his pool from winners and losers. Like, he lost to some scrub-ass Blanco. 
who was only good in CBS two and like for some reason Legate never punished his the ball when human. And then in losers finals he had to play LPN and that was like a Akuma mirror match, and it literally went down to last game. And how Legate lost I'll never like forget because for some fucking reason the Aces monitor or the PS three every fucking minute it would say a trophy can't be unlocked and it lagged the game. And Chris hits LPN. Does a combo, Tatsu, and all he has to do is the fucking Shuriken to kill him. Tatsu, the trophy thing comes out, the game lags out, and he whips the Shuriken, lands, and he dies. And then he literally sits in that chair long. He sits in the chair for like 30 minutes, dude, just like. And then like his girlfriend's like, can we go now? And he, I'm just like, dude, just let him sit there, man. And then like after that, he like never played in the tournament again. That was like. That was like four years ago. That was like four years ago. And then he like he never did play in the tournament. The, only, the last time I ever seen him play was in the team tournaments. He, only, he likes team tournaments, so he'll play in team tournaments. But singles and just like anything, like OFCs or anything, he does. He just does. I don't think he just wants to play, dude. I I, I kind of know the reason why, and I respect it. But it's just like, if he never quit playing, I'm pretty sure he'd be the best player in the semi. Like I'm pretty sure he can rape Richard if he just kept playing, dude. Because he was like, I think he was considered like top in Marvel two. It's bad, dude. That, that I I he's I'll dick ride that guy till the day I die, man. Like he's like, yeah. So last one, call out wall. Okay, so we're gonna do the hot or not real quick, and then we're gonna do the the, the call out. You know what the call out is? Yeah. Okay, so first hot or not. Wait, what's the call out? You just see. Right, you okay. You the the triox thing? No. Hot or not? <laughs> hot or not? Yeah, just pick one. Anyone? Anyone, dude. And we'll decide if they're hot or not, dude. It has to be guys. We're doing a guy edition. Steven Wynn. Just tell me why, man. Yeah, tell me why. Why? I mean, he's like. He's healthy, dude. Not the blush, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm serious. Yeah, like, relaxed. We're all friends here. We're all brothers. I, I think he's kind of a hipster, and he's probably the only hipster that I consider a friend. You know what I mean? Yeah, he looks like one for sure. He looks like one. He 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 acts like one. You know, he's a fucking hater, and like he's into the stupid shit that no one else is into. He's a fucking hipster, but. First time in Street Fighter, yeah, man, what a hipster, dude. But yeah, what a guy. I mean, neutral bullets. He, he, he he's, he's 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 hey, quote unquote. Way. Successful. He she dresses well. He he has a man purse. Like yeah, he he has got a he's got a a, a a very clean face. Like it's not acne out or anything. He's always got a fucking nice like fucking stylish haircut. Product like you know what I mean. His breath doesn't fucking smell bad. Like I mean. I don't know why he's not fucking rolling in Poon, if you ask me, dude. Like, why he doesn't show up, he better be fucking double fisting bitches, like, every weekend. Like, if he's not here right now, he's fucking up. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he's a badass, dude. He touched Taylor Swift one time, too. So, like. Yeah, that's a definite plus. Can we all hot? Yeah, for sure. All right. 100%. Audric, man. I know he left, but. Yeah. He's pretty good looking. He's he in is. good shape, you he's know. Fit, dude. He's yeah. fit and he's got the face, dude. Yeah, he's fair skinned, you know. He laughs at all my stupid jokes, you know, that goes a long way. I feel like he would take care of me, you know. It always comes back to that. So yeah, that's mine he for this week. You want to party tournament dude? Yeah, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that happened. That makes it even more desirable to be honest. Right. Yeah, Audric. Hot or not. Okay. I picked Richard last week. And Alexis before that. No, that was I didn't pick Alexis. You picked Alexis. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna pick. I just had it in my head. And it's just gone. Well, that's oh, it's Will. <laughs> Will? 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 There he is. But he has to have like the the hair where he like. <laughs> oh, when he was gelling his hair and shit. For no reason. When you have the, the the one picture on my Instagram when your hair is like gelled this way for some reason and you just you're wearing the pea coat. Do you? <laughs> do you have it? <laughs> I do. Oh, let's look it up. Let's take a look. Let me see. I'm sorry, guys. I need a dare to compare. You know what I'm talking about? Will. Will. Yeah, he's got the same hairstyle. Yeah, he's we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. How do you do this? You're a fool. No, is it albums? And then. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, dude? It's profile. There you go. I know it was my profile picture for a while, dude. <laughs> me? There it is. <laughs> you can't even see him, dude. Uh, it's pissing me off, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Whatever, dude. That, that will, that version? <laughs> If we have a time machine, we're going yeah, back to I mean, if you look at look how crowded that is, man. If you put it like that. Like look at his hair; it's like kind of like gelled there, that way. I'll dude. say I like that picture. I like that picture. Go back to it. Click on it. Wait, let's see. I'm in that picture too. Yeah, we're all in that picture. Go there, go oh, this one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Where would it go? The fuck okay. was that? Who did that? Who do you think did it, man? Yeah, we're all right there, man. We'll just put this picture up last, dude. Yeah, we'll believe. One three nine five one one. Don't look up the star picture. 
<laughs> but yeah, my uh, yeah, will man. But I I hope I hope he hears me. But just bring the hair, man. Bring that hair back, dude. It looks like you're doing it. Yeah, it looks like it. But please, just bring the hair back, man. And no, then no, he's got like he's got a problem, dude. Like I hate to say it. Like what? He's too good looking. I know, man. He he is good looking. That's the problem with him. He's like he's good looking, but he's like he's anti. He has the anti poon technology, dude. Like I'm just gonna say it, dude. Like this guy, if he has a chance to fuck it up with the girl, like he will do it. Like I know he's sitting like 15 feet away from me, but just try to work on that, dude. By the way, um, Will's like the only blurry guy in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a really good picture of me, dude. Up. Cause I feel like I'm the focal point, dude. Yeah. And then Vince and like Rico are just watching me. Rico looks very concerned about something. I'm looking and at Will's hair, dude. Who am I playing? Oh, is that is that Street is that, That's like the... That was my PC. You were probably playing fucking... Uh, Turbo play alpha or, or Alpha. Turbo. Ray's right there. Paulino. Kyle. Kyle. The best part there. And that's a pretty cool picture. Richard All right. That's a good picture. So last, last segment, and then we'll close it up, and then I'll announce who the next guest is. Call it well. Who are you calling out, man? Anyone? Anyone. I'm calling out Ilya, dude. Ilya's evil rude, dude. Or even Akuma. I don't give a fuck who you want to play, dude. Like, I'm pretty confident that, like, you've completely fallen off whatever, like, high horse you were on. And, like, I'm ready to, like, step on top of your head, like, over the little murky puddle to, like, get to where I need to be. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you fell down, like, face first in the mud. Life was in front of me. And I'm walking over your body to get to where I want to be. Like, at this point, like... If you said hi to me, I wouldn't recognize you because I think you're like a frog at the bottom of a well. You know what I mean? Like, I'm ready, dude. Whenever you're fucking down, dude. Whenever you're down. <laughs> there you go. Any time. Does it have to be a person? Can it be an entity? You know? Yeah, sure, dude. Can it be an event? Yeah. You know what, man? You know what I fucking hate is I fucking hate this thing called Cruising Grand. Yeah. I fucking <laughs> hate this shit so much. It's this, like, dumbass thing where they close all the streets off in Escondido <laughs> <laughs> right by my work, and they pull up all these stupid fucking old cars that nobody gives a fuck about. <laughs> and, <th> <laughs> and this fucking, like, this event just fucks up everything. It fucks up the traffic. There's all these dipshits walking up and down the streets, all these old people looking at all these dumb cars. They don't know how to fucking walk. They can't hear shit. And they just fuck everything up for the whole day. All of Friday, I can't go buy shit at fucking LLL Reptile. I can't go cash my check. I can't do shit because there's all these faggots just walking around and fucking up everything. And they play loud, shitty-ass music, and there's just all these bums, like, throwing up in the bushes. Like, I hate this shit so much. And every fucking Friday, I have to deal with this shit. It's only a little bit – yeah. It's only a little bit better now because I have to walk and I don't have to really deal with like driving through this bullshit and going around to this fucking fag convention. But I don't give a fuck. I <laughs> I hate fucking Cruising Grand so much. I hope that the person that organizes this shit hears this. I hate you. I want to kill you. And I want to just shit all over your body. I hate Cruising Grand so much. If I could call it, <laughs> I would call this out for my entire life. I might even call it out next Friday with more information. I hate Cruising Grand. I fucking hate you. I hope you. I want to burn this place down. I hate this shit so much. Fuck you, Cruising Grand. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> fuck Cruising Grand. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. The picture, the TTF podcast picture, the scarecrow, fucking Tin Man, fucking the line. Alright. Yeah, okay, so I'm not calling I'm not calling out a single person. I'm just counting out calling out these type of people, man. People that hold shit in and oh, damn, how how do I how do I word this though, dude? Introverts. I don't know what that means, man. It means that you like don't talk about shit and you just like hold it inside and like let it blow up. You know what? I'm not. I'm not. If you want to talk about it, I'll talk about. It. But anyway, if you have a problem with me, all you have to do is ask me, dude. I'm not fucking ten, dude. That's all I'm gonna say. If you ask me to stop doing something, I'll fucking stop doing it, man. But if you don't talk to me, I'm gonna keep doing it. That's all I'm gonna say, man. 
If there's a problem, if you have a problem with anything I do, if how I run TTF or how I run other tournaments or how I my lifestyle, I'll treat you like a little kid. If you want me to treat you like a little kid, I work with little kids, man. If you want if you want me to do that, I'll do that. But in the end, if anyone has a problem with me, you say something and I'll stop it. I'm not a dick, dude. If I don't think I hate anyone enough for me not to to not respect your answer and just keep talking or doing what I'm never doing. And fuck people spreading false rumors about TTF. That's all I'm going to say, dude. I'm not saying who said who, but I've been hearing that shit and I'm like, you're not People talk to me too, man. There's always two sides of the story. Whatever, man. Fuck it, dude. But yeah, fuck that, dude. So I'm going to have said this too. Someone, the guy told me that I'm pretty much the Mike Watson of the San Diego community. Fuck it, I am, dude. I'm going to say it one more time. If you have any fucking problem with how I do anything, please talk to me. I'll treat you like an adult, man. If you want me to treat you like a kid and explain it to like how I explain it to a child, I'll do it. But that's it. Is that it? Okay, is that it? Is that it? Our special guest, again, will be Rico for part two. <laughs> but, well, you're already a guest, dude. But, yeah, that's it. But let me know, like, your schedule, though. If you can't do it next Friday, we won't do it next Friday. Or if you want to, like... If you want to do it at OC. If you want to do it at OC. Oh, no. I don't think we can figure that out, though. Oh, shit. We I can bring my laptop. I can bring this. Oh, and we yes. can do it. Yeah. But, yeah. Whatever. Whatever works. Well, it'll be, this, it'll be another part, too, because, like, we even go into, like, Sega games or, like... Or, like, Rico's been around the world, man. So I'll say. We've well, been to Japan, but I mean, oh, yeah. Tell us about the Japan story. well, yeah, no, just like, like stories, like just stories, just like we all have stories. Time, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I gotta go work at like six no, uh, that's why there's that's why there's a part two. Thank you, Rico. You're the best. You're my brother. You're the best. Thanks for everything. And then this will be, uh, I'm uploading all the videos, all the Marvel matches, and this. I'll do it like as soon as everyone leaves because it's like really easy. But yeah, thank you. Any closing statements? Any closing statements? Um, Blaze, you suck. Not really, but. You suck ass. And who else? Ilya, I want to play you. First of five. Any character. <laughs> shouts to... Shouts to OFC. Shouts to TTF. Shouts to WMV. Shouts to Salt Mines. Shouts to DBK. And Long Live 3. I forgot what I was going to say. I know. Shouts to all the people that don't like me. Shouts to all the fucking haters, dude. Cause that shit just makes me stronger, amigo. Long live TTVL. We're out, man. Peace. <laughs>